Welcome everybody to the only game that matters. Um, I'm not gonna waste much time. We, we're gonna start earlier than usual. Just I need to hold on. Just set up the camera. Welcome everybody, hello, hello, hold on, I think, there we go, people have gotten Yakuza 8 early and spoiled the ending cutscene on 4chan, classic 4chan, um, probably won't take too long now uh, for it to make it to YouTube, <laughs> but I think um, it's safe to say it, it probably will get a copyright strike because it's not supposed to be up yet. Yeah, crazy to think that's the case. Okay, I'm not gonna waste much time with this one. We have to jump right into Yakuza 5, because this game is long as shit, dude. <clears throat> Majma everywhere. Not in this game. Wait, hold on, let me fix the chat. There we go. Also, let me make this sub goal a bit smaller. I feel like it's way too big. There we go. Yeah, I'm ready for the Saejima four-hour hunting session as well. Anybody else? Wait, what? Since when did I get a membership? Um, this is like the, the one um, time period on my channel where there's been so many gifted subs. So, all kinds of viewers have been getting subs. So, congratulations. Oh, you're a Yakuza 5 fan? Name every single person in the intro. Yo, KHY, welcome. Infinite Wolf is Steam Deck ver verified. Well, you know, from the demo, it seemed like a very well optimized theme, so, you know, I'm glad that it is. Yakuza 5! Let me adjust the volume. Alright, people, welcome to Yakuza 5. We made it this far into the uh, subathon. Yakuza 5 is probably going to be the longest game on all of the subathon. Uh, last time I tried to speed through this, it took me almost 8 hours. New Game Plus. So, I'm going to do New Game Plus today as well, obviously, for a game like this. So, let's do that. Uh, no. Yo, Trul, welcome. Also, I'm gonna try in this playthrough to get a second Beads of Good Fortune. Just to make future playthroughs easier. Yo, funny videos? Hell yeah. Taiji Suzuki. 
I wonder who I have them on right now. Imagine if skipping everything in this game was like that. If only. If only. Thank you, Donna. I'll, I'll need that luck. I don't know who this person is. Man, did I tell you guys about how I got a new blanket for yesterday? You know... What's the word I'm looking for? You know when you get, like, new clothes or, like, just anything new fabric? And there's, like, a lot of... Is it foam is the word I'm looking for? Like, fluff? A lot of, like, fab like small pieces of fabric coming out of it? I've had that with the uh, blanket. I washed it, and then I dried it, and then I feel like it's still kind of messy. Wait, who did I give it to? Uh-oh, Kiryu does not have the beads. Maybe I gave it to Saijima? If I gave it to Saijima, I'm, I'm fine with that. But this is good because... Um, oh yeah, the timer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it, it's probably with Saijima, if I had to guess. I don't think you even need to... So... Ideally, for the place we're going to right now, sushi is the best thing you can get. But I don't think you need, actually need sushi. But I'll get sushi anyway. Why not use cheat engine to add the beads? That's a good idea, but I would feel... dirty. Yeah, plus, I'm a pro gamer. Yo, Table, Good. How are you doing? If the game goes low, we go lower. Nice. I don't know if we're gonna hear Isolated Fight. Probably because I still don't have the beads. We're gonna hear Extermination, though. Very soon. Yeah, this outfit is pretty cool. I like it too. If Infinite 12 videos are uploaded on YouTube, I at least hope that the title and thumbnail are spoiler free. You're asking too much of YouTube. Yeah, like I said, just unplug your internet cable and you're good to go. Or if you don't use a cable, turn off the Wi-Fi. Yo, Jade, how you doing? Yeah, it's in 12 days for me. 12 days! So close to the single digits now. Wait, what? Oh, imagine if you send one yen and he's like, yeah, that's good enough. Actually, hold on, before I leave... Hello. 
Hey, one yen is a lot of money. You guys just don't know. Are you in Japan? Yeah, that's what I thought. A hundred thousand yen can buy you a mansion. Which is what I just gave them. Yo, redstone pixels. Yep. Does he reject the gift if you give him something shitty? No, I think later on he just gets an item. And if you give him something shitty, you just get a lesser item. And I think if you give him like the sushi set, you get the stamina and spark. I guess we'll use the taxi. <laughs> you know, I really do wonder if 8 is going to be as much of a chore to play. You know what would be funny, actually? If the total playtime, or like if you were to speed through Yakuza 8, it would take roughly the same time it would take you to speed through this game. Just because in 8 you can skip everything, and in this game you can't. That would be the funniest thing ever. The red carpet event... They're showing off the prologue of the game? No? I think it would be better not just for me, but also for chat. Chat probably... There's probably at least some people in chat that want to see everything for themselves. So. And I mean, I can't see them really saying anything new at this point. Um, that was the case, like, what, a month or two ago at this point? So, yeah. But I do appreciate that you let me know about that. So yeah, here's a whole unskippable segment. You know, adding to the length of this game. I started playing Ace Attorney, got sucked in, nice. Yeah, it's a great uh, franchise. And the music is really good, too. How big are the spoilers? Just, just heard there's spoilers going around. Well, apparently there's stuff about the final boss, so... Or the ending. Also, I said this with Gaiden, and I'll say it again for Infinite Wealth. But if any of you uh, decide to tune in for... Um, the Yakuza 8 stream, you know, always expect that as soon as I hit the stream button, some dipshit is going to come in like, oh, this guy is the final boss. Um, but I might actually do something about that, if I can, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yo, troll gamer. Mm. God, I miss when it... <laughs> My country used to release games really early. And I'm, I'm talking like a week early, two weeks early. But those days are gone. I'm assuming um, like Sony actually managed to do something about it. Or not just Sony, just game companies in general. Yo, smoked Sanji. I live in Bahrain. It's 11.30 a.m. here right now. So, close to Europe timing. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you want to go as blind as possible, disable social media or the internet in general. Do you lose a lot of live viewers when you stream a new game? No, actually. It kind of balances out because there's a lot of people that want to see at least the first portion of the game. And then there's a lot of people who just want to see everything for themselves. So, you know, the number of this audience and the number of that audience kind of um, create a balance. So I do get more viewers than usual. Um, and using Gaiden as an example, even in the second um, and third streams, like the viewers were, what, 300 average? So really not that bad. Yo, Zoo, thank you, buddy. <laughs> Habibi, throw gamer. Yo, Jalen. Thank you, Masayuki. Tell that to the people who, as soon as I stream something non Yakuza related, they're like, oh, where is Yakuza? I thought you were Yakuza Guy 7. Yo, patience. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Guys, what do we think of this Yakuza 5 gameplay? Epic? Yes or no? I do think legitimately, like, no meme, no lying, no slander. With the speedrun, half of the speedrun is just like this. What you're seeing right now. Yeah. Is there an actual speedrun for all the games in a row? No, th this is not a speedrun. This is just like, I want to see how long each game takes me. So I added the timer for fun. What did I pick, by the way? Normal, I think, was it? Yeah, Tommy. I think I did like one or two sub-stories in some games. In some games, you kind of have to do some side stuff. Or, um... Sometimes, like, a sub-story is part of the main story. Yo, Winston, thank you for the five gifted subs, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. I actually managed to fix the the, the number of the memberships. So, this should be as accurate as it can be now. I'm pretty sure this is where we're at. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Let's hope that Yakuza 5 doesn't have the crazy story that 5 has. Yeah. Maybe this time it'll be different. I think, you know... Oh no, here we go. He oh. <laughs> it begins. Oh boy. I really need to do that sub story for the Beats of Good Fortune, dude. I really do. Oh boy. This is gonna take a while. You know, I really do need to make a new game plus and also finish all the training for every character because I'm pretty sure Kiryu can get more uh, heat bars and I don't have all of them.
Yep. Yeah, Tommy. <laughs> okay, here's another peak soundtrack. Yeah, I've been streaming for 22 hours. Sometimes chat begs me to stop, but I just can't. Yakuza is in my veins at this point. Yo, thank you, your stepdad. For the five gifted subs, thank you, thank you. You've shown so much generosity already, thank you. Yeah, Zoo. You know, sometimes I see marathons of other games, like Resident Evil, and I'm like, man, I kind of... Low-key, I kind of wish you can get through these games as fast as Resident Evil, but that would also mean the games wouldn't be as they are. Look, the tiny Tanimura walking scene, here's the Kiryu version, except it's in-game. I'm honestly surprised Sosuke didn't return after 5. <laughs> RGG Studio bringing back one-off characters. Please. Please. You expect too much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They did bring back someone like Tat Miss Tatsu, technically. Uh, Mac. Gary, I guess. Even Komaki counts. Uh... Imagine how long it would be if he didn't skip cutscenes. We did that for the story, uh, story, uh, yeah, marathon, I guess. That was before the release of uh, Ishin. And it took me, what, 20 something hours? 23? 22? 25? Something like that? How did you beat Kiwami 2 and. Yeah, because of three at the same time, Leon. Not even one second of time difference. Hey, listen. If you play Yakuza for as long as I have, you find a way, eventually. Remember when I talked about how I found a way to skip the Conda quick time event? Same thing. Really. Same thing. Can he do the Haruka substory yet? I think he can, yeah. I'll, I'll go do that, actually. I need the beads. It's actually insane how much faster you can get through uh, chapters with, with that. Look at this asshole. He thinks he's cool. Yo, my, I'm good. How are you? Actually, no, I'm not good. But how are you? Also, the wind-up to the, like, oh. The wind-up to running is so bad. For whenever you want to avoid encounters. It's like he just want to get out of there already. And they're like, oh, wind up. Oh, what's this? One step, two step. Oh, and now you're running. You know, I think Six gets a lot of hate for the realism aspect. Whereas this game has some of that, like the thing that I just mentioned. And no one talks about that. Oh, but hits knock back in six. Yeah, well, you have the stupid fucking running wind up that actually gets you caught a lot of the time for random encounters. How about that? Not even 20 minutes in, and I'm already bitching about this game. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. I like this game, I promise. <laughs> It might not seem like it, but I do. Nantea? 
Think about the realism. I feel like some of you in chat tune in to hear shit like me ranting, and the other part of you is like, oh, fucking hell, this stupid piece of shit ranting about my favorite game again. You know what? I'm gonna unsubscribe. <laughs> Tune in for both and keep winning. <laughs> That's the way. Is that a rant if it's true, though? Hey. Hey, <laughs> let's not go there. It's already bad enough that I'm moaning and whining about this game. I don't want to go, actually, these are facts and everybody else is wrong. <laughs> We're almost there, fellas. We almost have the beads. Do you prefer Judgment or Lost Judgment story-wise? Definitely Judgment. <coughs> the first game story is amazing. Gameplay-wise though, Lost Judgment. Yeah, maybe this is a good time to flood the chat with fake spoilers, because if you missed it, apparently Infinite Wealth ending spoilers are out already. What do you guys think? I'll start. Shinata comes back in the ending to stab Kiryu. Setting him up to be redeemed in Yakuza 9. I'm just looking out for you guys. I promise. I promise. Pet trauma will be nerfed. Oh, please. Don't do that to me. Uh, pet trauma is going to become body trauma. Yo, Polar, how you doing? Nice. Good morning. Good morning to you, too. There we go. Whoa, look. Oh, no. It's... it's Dude, why? At the worst of fucking times, the stream deck lags. Play, you piece of shit. Oh my god, why did I buy this thing? It's... Hold on, hold on. I... Oh, hey, wait. I think it kind of bugged out, actually. It shows that it's functional, but it's not. I think now it... Yeah, now it will be. Oh, you piece of shit. Okay, I actually got trolled there. You know what? You know how? So, usually... Oh, no. <laughs> usually... If the stream deck is not on, uh, the the screen of the stream deck will show a cer like a cer the, the logo basically. But if it's on, you see all the uh, button inputs. I saw all the button inputs, but the application was not on. You need to have the application on for the Steam deck to uh, stream deck to activate. Uh, that's what happened. So I literally got trolled for the first time by, by my stream deck. Be a real streamer. Make the reaction sound with your mouth. Does that include the fart sound effects?
Guys, come on. I can't do everything. How am I gonna reenact the sad sub story song? Look at that one animation. Is that coffee just for Yakuza 5? Maybe. Yeah. Final boss is Jin Kazuma. Yep. Yeah. Kazuya Mishima also what? breaks his way into infinite wealth. With his spiky ass hair. Is this what I think it is? If it is, I think you don't even need to drive properly. <laughs> yeah, the final boss fight is on a volcano. Or no, they move the Millennium Tower to a volcano and they fight on top of the tower again. Oh, you... <laughs> Can you guys please stop? No, 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 what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But fellas, they told me this is GTA Japan. Okay, okay, I think I think I know where to go. Hold on. Why are there so many people? What the hell, dude? <laughs> there we go. See, see, we got this. My license is perfectly valid and justified. Okay, they ran into me. You see that? What's up with the people of this town, dude? Just like that. Yeah, insurance scammers, yeah. Hey. Oh my god, you brought back a very distant memory. I think it was a Bollywood movie, if I remember right. The whole plot was about this insurance uh, scammer, like Indian insurance scammer. And um, eventually, he ends up being in a real accident and actually gets hurt. But I don't remember the, I don't remember the rest, but uh, it's kind of funny. They portray it as tragic, but it's funny. Okay. Now this track... ...is top tier.
Did you feel weird seeing other races in Infinite Wealth? Oh shit, hold on. Hold on, something came up. Do you feel weird seeing other races in Infinite Wealth? No? I think you mean uncanny, right? Uh, just in general, it's uncanny being in America. You know, in a franchise where usually you play in Japan. In that sense, yeah, it is pretty uncanny. Because, like, in some games, like Yakuza 3 especially, I think. Maybe other games. You do have foreign... Um, Pedestrians. Yo, yeah, Sir Darkin, welcome. Yo, JJ. So the Master Vacation Bundle has New Game Plus. Whatever Big Swell is. And I think some outfits. I'm not sure what else. Yo, Isaac. Yo, Outlaw. Can you imagine a boss with 10 phases? Damn. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I intended to add a new sound effect, but it's not there. Let me fix that. Perfect. Yo, big fart, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. Can you use a capture card with a Steam Deck? I don't know. You can probably just record like you do on a PC, because the Steam Deck is technically a PC. But I didn't test that. Not trying to give Sega ideas. Uh oh. <laughs> but I'm surprised they haven't gone absolutely insane with custom DLC like they have a Persona. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's because with a game like Infinite Wealth, because of like you know the better graphics, higher polygons, uh, higher res textures. Maybe it's more work than Persona games. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But honestly, I do think costumes is like one thing that people would love to pay for. Um, instead of, you know, New Game Plus and actual features. <clears throat> now again, ideally, yeah, we want them unlockable, but... We've been in this age for far too long now. The DLC age. Unless... A big movement is gonna happen to somehow revert that. I don't think there's any point in really talking about how bad DLC is because it's one of those things that we like everyone knows. Like nobody wants to pay for DLC, but you know. Look, Hanawa shows up. 
here. What was the first Yakuza game that had fully skippable cutscenes? Cutscenes? All the games. In-game cutscenes? Uh, Yakuza 0, yeah. And even then, not all of them. But yeah, it was the introduction. Yakuza 8 in Game Pass? I don't know if they ever will. Infinite Wealth Final Boss is the wheelchair guy, yeah. Wheelchair guy um, explaining all of his uh, plans in uh, peak English. And also, also, of course, he stands up from the wheelchair. <laughs> and he reveals that he, in fact, was the thief all along. By the way, what's up with the quit playing game thing? I've seen that being said quite a bit, but I maybe I missed it. So wait, does he just say that in the, uh, like, is it text or does he say that? Oh, they made an error and cut the full, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, poor guy. Imagine, like, being put on the spotlight and then just having your moment taken away from you. Like you're going, f you're going in too. Like with the acting and everything. Oh, so he's looking Street Fighter 6, I see. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him quite a bit. He seems like uh, a cool guy. Is Yakuza 5 possible in one sitting without skipping cutscenes? Probably not. Or, well, if you are willing to stay up for like 25 hours, maybe. The plot unfolds. The continuation of the plot from Yakuza 3. Okinawa. Since we're talking about running cycles, what is the one weirdest run animation from Protags? Not... Because, I mean, if we're talking in general, there's a lot to pick, but I mean, like, a protagonist run animation that's so weird. 
Do, do, do. The Yakuza 5 story um, is about 25 hours if you watch everything and you focus on the main story. Judging by uh, the story live re review that I did, where I didn't skip anything and just um, focused on the story. Everybody in five feels like they pooped their pants. Hey, are you shaming pooping in one's pants? I don't know if I like that. Normalize pooping your pants. Okay, I, I didn't think that far ahead, Elena. God damn it. <clears throat> you know, if there is one thing that I loathe in 5, it's those sub-stories with a time-limited question. Haruka, Akiyama, and Shinada had those. Oh, did they? I, I completely forgot. It's been a while since I did the sub-stories for this game. Is Haruka actually faster than every other character, or does it feel that way? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll never understand why 4 and 5 are split the way they are. Surely there had to be a better way to do this. Yeah. Truing. <sighs> okay, 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 chat. There's way too too much negativ negativity in chat about this game. Say a good thing about this game. I'll start. Um, there's like, what, four, si five cities? A lot of cities, a lot of places to visit. She people just saying Shinara. Fair enough, fair enough. Without five, we wouldn't have seven or eight. Yeah, that is true. They finally did a different main menu compared to the bare bones ones we have in 3 and 4. Yep, agreed. Technically, this was the start of like a dynamic uh, start or main menu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
と I think this story gets too much hate. Yeah, fair enough. I think, you know, for me personally, you know, uh, how do I put it in simple words? You know how Yakuza 4 story, like, it's dumb, but it's funny. So, in a way, it's enjoyable. You know what I mean? Uh, this game, it definitely has its highlights as well. I mean, every single Yakuza game does. If, like, some of the plot points are, like, they don't click with you, then at least some fights in the game will. Um, or maybe certain moments will. Uh, which, that is the case with me. I do like some moments in this game. But I feel like compared to Yakuza 4, some parts leave me feeling, like, frustration more than... Laughter, if that makes sense. But yeah, like every single Yakuza game does have, you know, good and bad. I think the reason I said what I said is that, you know, Yakuza 4, there's a lot of dumb stuff, but most of the dumb stuff happens with new characters, yeah. right? So, like, Kiryu barely has any involvement, so nothing much even happens with Kiryu. But this game is, um... Oh, look who it is. What's the word I'm looking for? The consequences of what happens in this game, like, there's huge consequences. I think that's why I feel the way that I do. But, again, like someone said, if not for this game, we wouldn't have 7 and 8 the way they are. Actually, Yakuza Guy 7, Like a Dragon is a perfect video game and I will not tolerate any other opinions. Sometimes I feel like I sound that way to people, but I don't intend to. Oh, look! Do you think Mac will return in 8? It's possible. You know, I saw a take that I really uh, came to agree with. You know the... what's the minigame called in the Yakuza 8 demo? The one where you like take pictures of uh, creepy guys? The, the person who should have introduced yeah. you to that should have been Mac. Yeah. I think that would have been cool. What do you guys think? Sicko snappy, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Mac wants cool pictures, not incriminating pictures. Hey, to be fair. Mac messages Kiryu about that one revelation in 3. If you know, you know. And then the same thing happens in this game. Kind of. Mac would definitely take shots of weirdos. 
Remember that revelation in 3 where you like just record this drunk guy on a an like a, a pole like just dancing drunk? <laughs> yeah, and then there's the schoolgirl 1 and 3 as well. Both of which by the way Mac um tells you about. Yo, green UV light. People so slander seven for its over-the-top actions okay. and schizo Ichiban moment, but people forget the fact that five protags has straight up superpowers. Yeah, like it's really not that hard to say, you know, I don't like turn-based. But then you have people, I don't know, I feel like some people reach or selective criticism basically. The introduction of a legend. That, but that works. I don't even have the restaurant buffs on the save. <sighs> you know, I would probably try to um, replay this game in my uh, like off stream to unlock all the buffs for everybody to have a better new game plus save. But it's so time consuming with this game. Maybe I'll do it one day though. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, wait, this chat bugged out. Turns out it was, yeah. Okay, should be saved now. There we go. The disrespect Kiryu does here to Watase. And the fact that Watase genuinely has no idea what the fuck Kiryu is going on about. 
Like, he took that disrespect very well. What? Yeah, he was really patient with Kiryuf. How did he like Yagami as a pro tag compared to Kiryu? I... You know... I do like Yagami, but I do think something about him just feels really bland. I, I like him though, I do like him. Um, he, he just feels very monotone, like way more than Kiryu is, somehow. And Kiryu is a pretty monotone character. ん、見張りか。仲間を呼ばれると厄介だな。今、面倒を避けたいですね。何か策は。ん I completely missed if uh, anybody did. I'm not looking forward to the fire extinguishers. I wish Yagami wasn't a likeness character because now it's impossible to get him to Kami on a mainline game. Yeah, it's moments like that that I do wish they didn't rely so much on likeness characters. Or rather, you know... How do I say this? I think, like... How do I... I don't know how to say this, but... You know how a lot of games, or even Yakuza, they do have face likenesses, but... Um, they don't voice the characters. But usually, people don't think of those as likeness characters, but, th but they are. Um... I think those kinds of characters don't have as much legal, like, hoops to jump through, from what I, like, understood. I could be wrong. Um, if that really is the case, then I don't mind more characters like that. So, for example, a lot of Resident Evil characters do this. Leon, Ashley, Wesker. They take, like, face models, they scan their faces, and that's it. I think they pay them for that, and that's it. And then, the voice actors are different people. I do wish they do more of that in Yakuza. I don't know if Kiryu is a likeness actor, actually. Like, I, I don't know if his face is taken from anyone in any engine. Yo, Tank.
influenced by Corridor, right? Nagoshi said in an interview that certain characters were made from close friends and family members. So you're telling me one of Kiryu's faces is from Nagoshi's family? Damn. That's what I meant, by the way. I'm assuming if they just take the face of someone, there's not much um, complications to it. As much as they also, you know, when when they voice whoever they take the face of. Hello? So someone in Negoshi's family looks like a PS2 character? Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Fellas, look! Yakuza 7 in-game conversations prototype. You, I don't remember if you had to kill all of them. I don't think you did. So let me just go ahead. Kojima apparently face scans everyone who visits his office to use as NPCs. Oh, I see. How many hours do you expect for Infinite Well to be? Well, Yokoyama said 70 plus, but I'm gonna say maybe 50. I'm gonna say 50 without the grinding. With grinding, maybe it's like 60, 70. Amazing ability, right? Only thing he, he can do is just grab. Amazing, dude. Yeah, what is this, Blakuza 5? I did see that, yeah, lightning. Does sound pretty cool. Let me just use some of the stuff that I have to pick up the stuff on the ground. I always felt like characters block more in this game than 3, that's just me though. No, I did get people say that, and I do kind of see it at times. I didn't mean to do that, God damn it! I actually forgot I even had that. I'm 
gonna need infinite 12 to afford a 70 dollar game i'll tell you how to buy infinite 12 ready okay so set aside 60 dollars as you would for a normal game and then just add 10 dollars easy right boom problem solved you're welcome you don't need to thank me Destinations. Oh no, I, I had I have even stream labs blinking at me. <laughs> Playing the remastered games on PS5 is annoying because it takes... To save, it takes like 20 full seconds of nothing. Wait, does it? Mm. Yeah, I was thinking about that too, my... Maybe Judgment 3 is gonna be in Hawaii. You know. It, it might seem far-fetched, but... R like, don't forget. What happened with Lost Judgment... Uh, the, the game, uh, I can't speak. What happened with Lost Judgment? It took place in Yokohama after Yakuza 7 came out. And boom. Just, you know, they said it's a case in Yokohama. And, and that's what we got. Now for Judgment 3, whatever it's going to be called, a case takes them to Hawaii. Boom. We get to see all of them with the Hawaii drip as well. Why not? They chase Koga to Hawaii, yeah. <laughs> Koga better be in that game, I swear to god. Would be a missed opportunity not to put that joke. Yeah, God, can you imagine the Judgment cast trying to speak English? Kinda hype for how the dub of eight is, is even though I'm, even though my first playthrough is gonna be on the uh, will be Japanese. Same, mainly because of uh, the actors that they're, they're uh, bringing. Wait, did I? Oh wait, that's further below, I think. <laughs> Pretty much all the Ultimate Edition's benefits are to give you an OP class. You don't need the Ultimate Edition for the class, um, by the way. All you need to do is pre-order the game. And you get those uh, extra jobs. The Ultimate Edition, like... So, the Deluxe Edition gives you, gives you pretty much everything you need. The Ultimate Edition is like what? The extra soundtrack CDs or whatever that you can play. And also... Uh, DLC Sojimons. Sojimons and the uh, Dondoka Island stuff. Yo, Chunky. I also read the description. The the jobs are not in the Ultimate Edition. They are a uh, pre-order bonus. What makes you play Yakuza? So I can talk to you people. Oh yeah, a bunch of costumes as well. So there's costumes in the Deluxe, and then there's more costumes in Ultimate. But 
but the job, I am pretty sure, 100%, uh, is a pre-order bonus. I need an academic essay on why the hell I can't sleep more than four hours straight. That's gonna be me before Infinite Wealth comes out. Just you watch. I actually do have problems sleeping when I'm excited for something. I just can't. Remember when we had the first summit? The first ever summit where they announced three games? Yakuza 8, Gaiden, and what else was there? Was it Ishin? I think it was Ishin. I tried to slay for that, but I ended up streaming um, awake for like more than 24 hours. And then after that, because of like because of the, uh, what you call it, dopamine, I couldn't sleep for like two more hours or three or I don't even remember. But I was actually, I was literally too happy to sleep. I couldn't sleep. Got him. Imagine if they have full-on cutscenes for sub-stories in Yakuza 15. You know, speaking of... Um, I might not be talking about sub-stories yet, but in-game, like, dialogue cutscenes or in-game conversations already look like full-on cutscenes a lot of the time. We've seen that in Gaiden. And I imagine it's gonna look even better with Infinite Wealth. What if in Yakuza 16 we go to Mars and brawl against two aliens? <laughs> God, imagine though. Kagatikoi goes Yagami. And who's against him? Like some humanoid, grayish looking figure with these huge black eyes. Just looking confused at this human, like. How many sub-stories do you think there will be? Judging by recent games, like, you know, Lost Judgment and 7, 50-ish. But most of them are probably gonna be, like, they're gonna have a lot of substance. Leon, can you make a poll asking how many people play with controller and keyboard and mouse? There's no real need for that. Didn't I make a poll for that on the community post a while ago? Bye, guys.
Wait, what? Why did he kick him like a door? Was I fighting a door? Pretending to be a human? What is the best theme song in Yakuza? All of them. All of them. Actually, let me do that again. So we might be able to skip the fire extinguisher, guys. Okay, yep, here we go. Never do the music video. Uh, I did upload a couple of soundtrack videos, if that's what you mean. But every time I do that, I don't monetize them. Because that's uh, pretty messy territory. Face grating. Nice. I wonder, can he counter that attack? You probably can, but. Just fucking go in. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Fastest boss in the whole franchise. Okay, so... If you if you don't do this you still win. It's destined. It's fated. Yahata is meant to lose.
No damage, baby, yeah. Yo, Luna, thank you for fi for the 15 months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Luna always shows up, says something about the t-shirt I'm wearing and disappears. Speaking of, I still need to get that Ishin shirt that I have in my merch uh, store. I still don't have it. And I still need to arrange for a plushie, like I talked about before. I'm also kind of afraid though, low-key, because... Um, like, whenever I hear about uh, plushy merch being... Being... Uh, shipped out, a bunch of people don't get theirs. And I don't want that to happen, but I feel like it's inevitable. A Leon plush. No, actually, a Saijima Stair plush. Oh, sorry, to avoid copyright. Um, the, the Jima plush. Let's call him Jima. Jima plush. This. Cut to this. Yeah, Jima plus, yeah. For the Floppa plus, you will, you will have to um, visit the official Floppa merch store. Which, I actually got a couple of t-shirts from them. You could do a plush of yourself without the beard. It would yeah, sell yeah. millions. Really? Is that true, guys? Is he truing or falsing? Oh yeah, Tamiya plushy. Oh sorry. Bamiya. We'll call him Bamiya. <laughs> Bamiya is a vegetable in Arabic. But also a good enough name to alter. <clears throat> Yo, Ali? Yep. Shotgun! Shotgun! Yeah, better watch out for the shotgun. Oh. Nice, we actually attacked the shotgun guy in that quick time event. Oh, not a quick time event. Well, yes, yes, quick time event. Is he? Yeah, he's down. Cool, cool.
Oh, fellas, I miss when Yakuza was grounded. You know, taking out two rocket launchers for a single guy. That's, uh... That makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, look, look, look at how grounded this game is. Holy shit, dude. Yakuza 5, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Yo, Adamson91, thank you for the, uh... Uh, the honey is here. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's hilarious to me how rocket shoes are a problem, but this is not. When at least Rocket Shoes is like an explanation. And by the way, I did see people, yeah, like, going, oh man, Rocket Shoes, that's too much. Really? So that's too much, but this is not? Like... Yeah, this is not- yeah, this is not too much? Give me a fucking break, dude. This is the most Bollywood movie shit you've ever seen in your life. And it gets better, of course, with, uh, with the games, with the game going on later. Yeah, you see, I'm gonna proceed to give you an essay on how Kiryu rocketing without rocket shoes is more grounded than him rocketing with rocket shoes. Because, yeah. Yeah. Like, it actually does baffle me how people don't, like, people play Yakuza 5 and don't think it's the most anime thing they've ever played. event was uh, showing soon though soon yeah bro I zoom from my bed to my PC whenever I begin streaming this is totally believable bro There we go. 
Listen. The fact that they didn't um, subtitle this line is a bit of a crime. Because, like, the, the translation is really cool. Um, if you play the PS3 version of this game, it, tra it translates to um, all this for me. But you forgot who I am. Like, God, it's so cool. Because, like, you know, it's the Toja Clan trying to get back at him. They're like, oh, we can totally do this. But in fact, they cannot. Also... This is Bollywood, and he can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> yeah, Stormtrooper aim. Oh, shit. <laughs> Best part of the game incoming. I can't wait. <coughs> no, no, please go back. No, <laughs> no. Either go back or go forward, please. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, you... <sighs> okay, I hope I have the beads of good fortune on him, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know why they're not equipped, but here we go. Okay, people. Um, Saijim is uh, part is gonna be like 20% less frustrating, I think. No, no, I, I think 40 is more like it. Yeah, that tribe conversation is peak. Alice, is it just me, or it's getting a little hot here? Just me? Okay. Okay. Wait, was that a random encounter? Oh. I need to re-enter the... city. Oh, there's another one. We were talking about that earlier. I was kind of poking fun at the fact that um, it would be funny if, you know, if you were to like just revisit the game without watching cutscenes. If Infinite Wealth roughly took the same time as this game, purely because you can't skip like a lot of this stuff in this game. Whereas in Infinite Wealth, you know for a fact that at least when it comes to conversations and in game cutscenes, you can skip everything. Will be uh, intriguing to see. Did the stream freeze for people? Yo, Terence, thank you for that super chat. Leon, what do you think about the Chinese stuff for Infinite Wealth? I listened to bits of it. It seems really good, from what I heard. 
I've been seeing people say like the, the Kiryu voice actor sounds just like Koroda. I heard it's super accurate except for Majima. Yeah, I think Majima is like the one character that I heard people complain about too. Look at Nishida here, by the way. Goblin. Goblin. <laughs> Look at the eye bags. Damn. Yeah, the fact that it has a Chinese dub is huge. I really like that. You know what would be awesome? If Yakuza 9, or whatever the, ne the next game is, were to have, like, I don't know, a French, Italian dub, and whenever we replay those games, we just pick one of those, <laughs> would be so cursed in the best way possible. お前は大丈夫なんか兄弟。何がえもう俺らも分からない。たかが<笑> 心配ないわ。ああ。また俺と差しで殴り合うんとちゃうんか。お前ほんまに後悔せえへんな。何がや。俺の今の力が。Good luck, that dude called Double Z. Okay. You know, I'm kind of surprised this Saijima is not a costume. You would think it's an obvious choice, but I guess they picked a certain number for all the characters and they just chose stuff and left some stuff out. You know, there is only one other person whose health bar is more ridiculous than Saijima. Can you all guess who it is? I'm sure some of you know.
Doing yes, great. Isaac. Good Quiet. job. Good job. Kenshiro's HP is comically huge. Like, it's not even funny. Actually, no, it's a little funny because even with the size of his health bar, he can take a shit ton of damage. All right, here we go. Uh, prison. Uh. Where's your beautiful face, Leon? A thief stole it. I am lightning. Why would you even think otherwise? Yeah, you know, me being a streamer, now that my face was stolen, and because I don't have legs, because, you know, I'm just a Torizo now. You guys don't want to see that sight. Yeah, the next cutscene is a bit of a banger. Do we keep it? Actually, I might get demonetized. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. YouTube is, you know, YouTube. There are kids. Think of the children, damn it. Think of the children. Chat, come on. Don't disappoint me like that. The children. They're watching. Somewhere. Exactly, Dragon. It's never the parents' fault, it's always the game. Oh boy, here we go. Amazing story segment, totally related. Imagine you have to put a filler so bad, you literally make up um, a hallucination. To just like, fill the, 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 you know what, never mind. <laughs> yeah, grounded. Yeah, this is just side you mean Silent Hill. It's 
It's very important for st the story that Saejima experiences his pervert friend's dream, yeah. Extremely vital. Yeah, I have no idea why, why Chad is so obsessed with the ground. I keep bringing the ground because people talk about it. I don't know what I'm talking about. By the way, I'm just picking whatever. I don't care. Oh, okay, excuse- okay, wait, 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 I, I can't not comment on that. Wanna come to my place on the first visit to a hostess? And she- Ha- like- Everything about that response, like, has red flags, and- and- oh, I can't, dude. <laughs> uh... And people wonder why I don't like the, the hostess stuff. Hmm? You truly have to pick the most comedic responses to succeed in this game. Yeah, that's boring. Yeah, fuck you. No, I don't think you're a prude. Like, the hostess stuff in general is just annoying in my opinion. Um, but maybe I'm a prude, who knows. <laughs> I think, you know, just as a side activity. Like, if you like reading uh, uh, text, I guess, then it's okay. But there's also, like, you know, a winning aspect to it where if you pick... The wrong choice, you don't succeed. And again, the frustration for me comes in that a lot of the time, the, the stupidest response is the one that you want to pick. Not the one that sounds logical, no. But hey, here's some karaoke. the disco floor right here. He would put Haruka to shame. Yeah, what if these one of these punches lands on her? Dead. <laughs> no more karaoke. Oh, 
Okay, not bad. Sodachi. I never did the dojo in 4. Am I missing out? No. Don't ever go back to it. <laughs> Actually, give it a try. Maybe you'll like it, but I... It, it like... I, I did not like it at all. You think he would have a Yasuko picture? Who? The thing about the dojo, the one thing that I remember, like, hating the most is the quick time events and how fast they are. Like, unforgivably fast. Or unforgivingly fast. Hello. Leon, would you enjoy host this stuff more if it was oily Yakuza men wearing maid costumes? Yes. Oh god, I forgot about the JPEG restaurants. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. Are you gonna do Yakuza 6 today? No, tomorrow. This game is gonna take around eight hours. And I'm so glad to have the Beads of Good Fortune on Kiryu and Saijima now. So, the next time we play this, whenever that's gonna be, uh, we're gonna, like, take a second one and move it to someone else. Actually, 
in the end of this playthrough, hopefully I don't forget, I'm gonna pass that on to um, either uh, Shinada or Akiyama. Do you think his cellmates are just fighting for their lives right now because he started punching in the real world? Maybe, yeah, that's possible. Baba being the strongest probably does most of the work. Yeah, what do you think this looks like in real life? Are they all just staring at the ceiling? As if they're <laughs> on drugs or something? No, I'm not gonna use the bra uh, Brawler mod for 7. I might do that in a separate stream. Nice, be wasted. Uh, yeah, same here. I love the game, I love the Coliseum. I think it's a nice little package. This prison cell looks better than some rooms I saw. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of is, Roxy. Dude, this camera. You know what this reminds me of? Oblivion. <laughs> like same same energy. The dramatic zoom. View. Stop! You violated the law. You know, I never remember who I need to talk to here. I just go around and talk to everyone. Literally everybody. Until... Uh, there we go. Until something uh, happens. Uh, <laughs> this actually seems like... Like, if you were to memorize... For like, I don't know, a speedrun or something, who, who to talk to here. It feels like you're trying to memorize a puzzle. Because, you know, there's a sequence to it. A very specific one. And like, you have, what... Five, seven inmates to talk to, and sometimes a new one pops up. Verify Baba's alibi. What is this? Ace Attorney? Yeah. See, this new. I, I think this is a new guy right here. Yep, yep, there we yeah. go. They spend 30 minutes sh teaching you how to shoot a gun. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, press square to reload. By reloading, you remove the bullets in your gun and you yep. put new ones. And then you close the gun and now you can shoot again. Yo, is that someone jamming to all this skipping that I'm doing? God, I'm glad uh, this is all enjoyable to you guys. 
thank you. I'm, I'm glad. Uh... Let me talk to this guy to be sure. Does Kugihara appear in Yakuza Online? I think he does, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two cards of him. I don't know if they had a like a character story for him though. Uh He might have had an event, which also brings uh stories. I'm not sure. So glad I know my limits and never tried to 100% the Yakuza game. Same. Same. <laughs> uh. yeah. yeah, the Kugihara Redemption arc. It wasn't actually Kugihara who fucking fingered Saijima's wound. That was a body double. The evil one. The good Kugihara would never do that. In fact, he was looking for the evil Kugihara to put an end to to those sick fantasies. Oh wait, oh right, right. Most important quick time event. Same energy as the real estate part one. Do you need to, to walk all the way over there? I guess not. Maybe now, though. Saijima, what are you doing? Yeah, imagine Kukihara and Dragon Engine. Maybe the guy's in Hawaii now. What the hell would Kugihara even <laughs> wear for a Hawaii fit? Do we want to know? Maybe he just has no shirt. Yo, Meg. Kugihara, yeah, in a banana hammock. Oh god. <laughs> I would love it if Infinite Wealth had a good 100% grind, but knowing how much is in the game, I doubt it. It seems like... So, without saying too much, I did look at the trophy list, and I, like, I heard from people who also looked at the trophy list. I didn't look too much in like at the list but it seems like it's gonna take after yakuza 7 and gaiden where yeah there's a lot of stuff but you don't need to do like a hundred percent of everything in the game to get the platinum so there's that saijima doing a little tomfoolery in this part you ever done a one-off character tier list, Leon? No. That's an idea, though. Something tells me Shinada would be an S tier. Unless... <laughs> Were they getting paid by the hour of playtime in this section? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at this Tom and Jerry kind of <laughs> fucking chase. Here we go, here we go. Kugihara fight. Kugihara fight. Kugihara fight. Kugi, Kugi, Kugihara fight. Look at this guy. It's the only one in the game, right? Uh, there is a second one when you escape prison. That's it. Yeah, nice dance, bruh. You know, I love how this guy as well, to compensate for like the insane imbalance between him and Saijima, look at how much hyper armor he has. Like, you can't bullshit me. There's no way. This guy can stand all of these attacks. Look at him! He's like bones. But yeah, who am I who am I kidding? This game is grounded. The way of resolve. You might even say. The way of life. I remember when I was playing uh, the game for the story review. I remember it particularly when we got to this uh, scene, cutscene, whatever. I. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I could not. Fo I could not focus anymore. <laughs> and like you know, this is coming from someone who likes story-heavy games or. Um, like, I, I don't mind playing story-heavy games, but man. Okay, prison escape soon. Which Yakuza, which Yakuza games had goofy goon voices? Uh, there's a lot of them, but but you know I feel like Yakuza One and Two originals, especially, had the goofiest. There's one stance in original two for the goons. It's it's like comedic in how goofy it is. The one where they look like they're actually brain dead, not like in the, um, what's the word, proverbial sense. No, they actually look like they've been like mind controlled or mind washed. I don't know how to explain it, but you have to go back and look at it. Yeah, and then you have the heavy Yakuza 3 goons just <laughs> bending their backs so fucking... You know, you know. Yeah, the hunchback. Oh yeah, wait, we have to do the second uh, dream sequence, right? I think.
I've seen a bunch of VTubers start Yakuza on the road to infinite wealth. Maybe you should get a VTuber model for extra clicks. Yeah. Anime girl. Uh, moderately proportioned in everything. So that all... All the... All the... Uh, what do they call them now? Gooners? <laughs> Tune in. And then they hear my voice. And then they subscribe harder. Wait, um... I'm gonna do this with, with the mouse. It's way easier with mouse. Ish. Yeah, Never. wasted. Uh, people were talking about that earlier. So that's why we, we made up fake spoilers. Okay. Uh, actually, wait, no. Uh, Dragon Engine is easier on... Uh, uh, mouse. But I'm gonna use the controller for this. Oh. Damn it. Oh my god. Now, uh, watch. Shimano is the VTuber in Yakuza 8. It's Shimano. Right, I think I remembered the trick. How do you even win the darts in pre-dragon engine? Uh, I this is what I do. I aim at the middle. Oh no! Okay. Well, you you know that was that's the base, but it went very wrong there. But yeah, the the, the base bases base of it is that you aim at the middle. Because, like, whenever you start your turn, the hand is in a different position, kind of. But as long as you aim the thing at the middle, then you're good to go. We're not in a fight yet. Sheesh, hold on. Bruh! This fucking game. Okay, look, dude. Come on! Ugh. Oh, shit. Yo! Cars! Okay, we're almost done with the uh, second dream. This is basically my dreams when I drink Kerak and sleep in AC. Oh, you know, I could go for some Kerak tea right now. Yo, chat, just asking. Anybody tried Kerak tea? It's so good.
Yeah, see? The Arabs know. Well, hold on, hold on real, real quick. I want to do something. I got to fix something, actually, not just do something. Uh, let me put this up. Uh, Okay, let me just fix one more thing. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, oh yeah, wait. Uh, okay, sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait. You can stop staring now. We're good to go. I am from the Gulf region, yes, I'm from Bahrain. Am I not Arab if I didn't try it? Of course not. We don't determine whether or not you're an Arab by character. We determine that by whether or not you play Yakuza. So, 99% of Arabs are not Arabs. Trust me, bro. Yakuza 2. God, I really miss when Yakuza used to be grounded. It's unbelievable how much they ruined that now. <clears throat> Did I? How did Bob and I both get hit at, at the same time? Huh. Wonder what happened there. The guy on Twitter? I mean, yeah, like, that, that guy is just obviously rage baiting. I, like, as soon as I learned that, I don't even grace anything related to the account with a response or a look. Wait, 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 where did the second guy come from, what? Did he just pull someone out of that dude's ass, like, what happened there? I'm not tripping, am I? Did you see that? Wait, 
Wait, do I have the counter? God damn it. Oh, I do. Okay, sick. Okay, snow chase time. Also, hey guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. This is the only thing I'm keeping. I hope. I really don't want to spend too much time on this game. It's long enough already. Yeah, do it, Sajima, do it! <laughs> God damn. Honestly... I'm kind of sad we didn't get more moments like this. It's so good. He should have went for both arms, yeah. Just to be sure. I forgot I had better TTV installed. Yeah, now the chat is better, automatically. This technically is a dynamic intro, by the way. It's not a cutscene. You can't skip it. Who felt bad for Kukihara here? Me. I'll start. Yeah, me. Yeah. It is Resident Evil 6, yeah. Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> this is what going to work in January feels like. Sometimes I wish I can relate. Because we don't have snow at all. But also, like, I can imagine snow being a pain in the ass, so I don't know if I want that. We get rain, and rain can be a pain. We don't want snow. Oh! Oh, shit.
I think we're almost there. Oh shit! No! Oh. oh! There we go. Hello, Leon. I see you're playing Modern Warfare 2. Yes. Okay, this is the cutscene where... But I don't want to keep too many cutscenes. Because I don't want to take more than I have to with this game. Man, I miss when Yaw because I was grounded. Time events? There we go. Yeah, now it's Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> yeah, this is just a Tekken fight. Okay, seriously though, this quick time event is so cool. Like, damn. Damn, Saijima. Damn. Owned. Okay, hunting chapter, or village chapter. Where the plot literally freezes, yeah. Yeah, now we're in Resident Evil Village, actually. <laughs> Instead of looking for Rose, we're looking for Baba. You know, I've been thinking of, like, from here on, we just do one game a day to space things out. Like, yeah, some days are going to be shorter than others, but I feel like that's actually not a bad pace to go at. Some games, you know, I, I can do some, like, two games in one stream at times, but... Um, doing one game a stream will also give us the chance to, like... Yep. Maybe watch the, you know, the good cutscenes, the funny cutscenes, stuff like that. But yeah, definitely not with this game. I'm not, like, watching anything, if I can. Sorry. <sighs> 
Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I like how the outfit is actually slightly yeah. different between this one and the Yakuza 4 outfit. Yo, Crimson, good, how are you? Oh, by the way, by the way. For those who play this game, like, a lot, or for those who know the ins and, ins and outs of this game, uh, what's the homeless password later on? Is it 71 or 73? I think it's one of those two, right? I think... Eh? No, this is a different jacket. For some reason, Dragon Engine uh, Saijima has a shorter jacket. They didn't want to animate the physics, maybe. I don't know. Thank you, Lightning. Wasn't there a funny thing he says around here? I don't know if it's part of the tutorial, or like if it's part of the hunting, but he says something about spaghetti. Or like, I don't remember what it is, but like it's a funny comparison. I saw someone like, memeing on the, on the line somewhere. I could be wrong, maybe I'm thinking of something else, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I see lightning. Thank you. Leon, I think the hunting is getting to your head. Hey, what hunting? We still haven't gotten there. Yeah, he trimmed the jacket with his own scissors. A Saijima special. Yeah, you know, the moment me and chat had this revelation where Saijima gets his own city for one chapter, we were like, okay, you know what? I don't know about Saijima's part. Like, you know, the village is cool. I do like it. Um, visually. <laughs> Two chapters of prison <laughs> is a bit much. Because um, I think not even Yakuza 4 did that, did it? I think it was just one chapter. And even then, like, what you needed to do was not all that much. Hamazaki was like, okay, here's the plan. Get us this and that. You get this and that, and that's it. No, Jade. Apo. Fellas, what's the game with the most playtime that you have? Yak is a game. Eh? Yeah. 
talk. Try to join the Discord. Uh, message me in... Um, uh, DM me on Discord. And, like, let me know this is your name on YouTube. And then I'll... Uh, I'll give you the, ro the role eventually. Zero, seven, five, lost judgment. There's a pattern here. Five, zero, seven, and lost judgment, it seems like. We do have a Discord, yes. Yeah. You can find the link in any uh, non-stream video. 414 hours on Kiwami 2? No way! <laughs> God damn. Eh? I'm pretty sure like even with my PS4 playtime, I don't have that much. You want me to MMO, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. In case there is a yeah. soft lock, let me let me save. Thank you, fiend. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, I actually got soft locked here once. Um, in the tutorial for hunting. So, I started the tutorial, and I had to do something. I, I think it was like catching uh, rabbits or something like that. No matter what I did, uh, the traps would not catch the, the rabbits. So, I roamed around, like, kept my distance, went back, nothing. I had to redo everything here. Okay. Yo, Gokudoni, you arrived at the perfect time. Welcome. Uh, maybe you had a long day at work, possibly, you and others, um, and you wanted to fall asleep. Now, for the, for the first time, I'm actually glad to help you with that. Um, feast your eyes. Okay, this better not get to a soft lock. What the Okudera doing? Ooh, excuse me. Will you finish the whole hunting mission? No. Never. Wait, may maybe I just didn't... Um... So what do you have to do the first time? Maybe I'm not doing it. I thought it was shooting, but maybe it's not. Dodge, maybe. Wait. You're supposed to ju just shoot, right? Like, whatever, anything. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot more than once? I don't know.
Wait, did I do something wrong? I'm so confused. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's load and see if I actually did something wrong. Maybe, maybe you're not supposed to shoot first. I don't know. I'm so glad that I saved. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't. And I was like, nah, don't worry, guys. Yakuza 5 was just being a little silly last time. But this time it'll be fine. And then it wasn't. I don't think it's common. I don't really hear <coughs> hear about it. I guess this game just hates me. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, dragon. You're gonna have to put up with it. Okay, let's see what he says first. Crouch and creep forward. That's it? <laughs> really? Walk while crouching, Saijima. There we go. Okay, now we shoot. I love how chat just, like, the activity absolutely plummeted. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not alone. Chat, chat is either watching intently or, yeah, what, what school has said. Stream elements. You're silly. As weird as the minigame is, would be fun multiplayer map. Yeah. You know, ranting and memes aside. Maybe you expected a rant, but I'm not gonna rant. I'm actually gonna say, you know, I I'm sure if you take your time, this this mini game is fun. Um, and I do see how it can be fun. But I do think my main problem is just the, the fact that you have to go through this every single time when you play through the game. And you can't skip it. You have to sit through all of it. And it's not like a, you know, a cheeky little thing that you, you see for like a minute or two. No, you have to sit through like, what, 20, half an hour, like, you know? But yeah, other than that, I don't doubt that it's something that um, has a lot of entertainment. By the way, the part that I got softlocked at is not here. I mean, you know, 
It was when you have the the uh, the trap tutorial. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Yo, Groovy, how you doing? This is where the bear arrives, right? I think. Yo, Tasman. No! Oh, I didn't have ammo. God. Oh, God. Damn it, dude. Fuck! Sorry, Jim. I reload, you piece of doo doo. Okay. The others don't know. We're good. We're good. There we go. We got one. Sick. By the way, if you finish this mini game and then you do a uh, new game plus, do you keep your abilities or do you have to regain everything? If you have to regain everything, oh my goodness, dude. You keep them. Okay, so you keep the items, but do you also keep the abilities? I know you get a speed upgrade, um, stuff like that. Do you also keep those? Hey, when did I blame the game? Come on. Uh, you keep them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Look at all the goofballs in chat. Okay, this is the part that I'm kind of worried about. Hopefully it should be okay, though. Yeah, that monotone plink is going to be me looking at the monitor. If it happens.
I thought the story of this hunting minigame was okay until it just got unnecessarily <clears throat> convoluted in the end. Isn't the story basically that the Yama Orochi or whatever it's called, the bear, is like a, like a <laughs> some kind of mountain god or something? <clears throat> And, like, it's the protector of the mountain? I, I, I don't know. It's so weird. Uh, and also, the bear killed the family of this guy or something. The one with me. Fellas, do you want some mental torture? Imagine Dead Souls 2 with this gunplay. Huh? Anybody? Oh, there he is. People. Yo, holy shit. Super Lokiner, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Oh my god, 20. 20! <laughs> That's 20 people. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn. Damn, girl. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, now everyone can stare at me. Yeah, we're at 220 now. Five more games and uh, five more subs and we add the new game. Yep. I wonder what chat is going to vote for next. I did fix the, the, the number, yes. So right now you should be looking at the right one. So from yesterday's stream... Uh, the counter went by 2, so the missing number should be 59, and I already added that. <laughs> Next game, Yakuza Online. <laughs> yeah, might as well add uh, Binary Domain, but I I'm actually not sure, because I never play played it. It might take me a while. Um... <laughs> And if if I were to play it, I don't know if I if I'm gonna skip all the stuff or watch all the stuff. Yeah, th this is why I muted the the alerts because hearing Funk who goes on like 200 times is probably gonna get get old at some point. Sorry. Dead Souls or else. Dead Souls already won. It's gonna be the first game after 7. Dead Souls and then Gaiden, and then I don't know. You guys get to decide. Mm -hmm. No! I think you don't have to get involved, even if you pick this. Let me just skip.
rank the battle themes in five. Number one, what a fantastic hit. Number two, everything else. Now, there's a lot of good tracks, I don't know. You Mm -hmm. If I had to so pick, good. like, the best street battle theme for me, yeah. it would be What a Funcastic Hit. But, yeah, if we're talking about other tracks, I don't know. Extermination is good. I do like it for the generic boss theme. Um, uh, what What is Kanai's final theme called? I also love that. Oh my goodness, Super Lokiner, buddy! Thank you for the five gifted subs, oh my god. Well, there's the, uh, the goal achieved. Hold on. It's drop all time. Thank you, thank you, Super Lokiner, thank you. Thank you for the generosity. Okay. Okay, so let's add judgment, lost judgment, uh, Kuro Hyo, Kuro Hyo 2. Um, Lad Ishin. What else? Where's the poll? I'm gonna send it in chat, and I'll pin it as well. Uh, what am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Gaiden won, Dead Souls won, so... Those two are not gonna be here. Kenzan has been added. Wait, oh, yeah, Kenzan. Kenzan... Am I forgetting something? I would add Fist, but, um, I can't play it right now, so... Is that- I think that's all? Oh yeah, the Kaito files. <laughs> you know, let me combine the Kaito files with the Majima Saga, because they're just so short. Uh, yeah, Dead Souls 1. Now, we chose two games. Now we're going to choose the third game. Yeah, the auto-moderator. RGG Online. Okay. You guys are, are such memesters, but I'm gonna add it. And I'm gonna fucking laugh if it wins. I think that's everything. Okay. Um. Okay, chat. Go crazy. Go crazy. Go. 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 Oh yeah, I forgot to add Streets of Kamurocho. Maybe next time. There we go. That's been pinned. Pick something. Yakuza Online. Five hours of looking at cards. Excuse me. You do know that has many games, right? The batting cage. The hostess club. You know. The good stuff. Uh... Hold on, let me take a look at the results, yeah. That's one of the fun parts about this. No fucking way. Dude, I should not have added the Akasa online, oh my god. Uh, chat, why? Holy shit, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> well... It's winning. <laughs> Look at Kenza. <laughs> like, it's actually hilarious how how much... The, like, the difference between Kenzan and Yakuza Online. Like, it's over double. 
Shout out to the one person that voted for the Kaito Files and the Majima Saga. And the other person, oh never mind, it's two people now, who voted for Kurohio 2. Three people voted for Kurohio 1, 7 for Light Ishin, 10 for Lost Judgment, 13 for Judgment, 17 for Kenzan, 41 for Yakuza Online. Uh, thank you for the 10 months, Super Lokiner. I sent 25 subs only to see how Yakuza Online can beat my favorite Lost Judgment. I am not disappointed in chat. Well, thank you. I'm glad to see you, uh, you get your money's worth. Man. You know, right now they're having an event with Jungi Hun. And I am this fucking close to paying. I still haven't paid, but I want to. But I actually don't know if I can right now. But I'll still do something and do it. I'll just rob a bank, easy. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, the Kaito Files and the Majima Saga are not at the bottom anymore. Yeah, I spend my whole paycheck on Yakuza Online. <laughs> the question is, I mean... Where do I even begin? I'm trying to find the words, but I, I just don't know what to say, like... Man, I, I knew I had trolls in my chat, but I didn't know I had this many of them. How much is a card? Five dollars? Ten dollars? Oh, sweet summer child. It can be anywhere between free to $400, depending on your luck. Yeah, 400. Welcome to mobile gaming. Some mobile games are more generous than others, but... Um... You know, the fact remains that there's technically loot boxes... And, um... Gambling. Is the... Like, the blunt... Uh, word you're looking for. Also, uh, what was I gonna say? There was a game... Wait, what? Why are there encounters? Oh, 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 hold on, dude. I, no way I'm dealing with that shit. Fuck that. Give me the beads. Um, there was a game that I actually shut down because it was way too, um, free-to-play friendly. Final Fantasy Opera Omnia? That game. And I did play that game once, and yeah, it really gave a lot of stuff. I only voted Yakuza Online because it's the most grounded. You even use real-life money. True! Actually, yeah. I love that logic, yeah. Yeah, take that. Um... Grounders. I'm actually thinking of what I'm gonna do in Yakuza Online. We can just mess around and look at the cards that I have. Um, 
we can look at like how the story mode is like but there's no way we're sitting through all of it not because it's long but like no one's gonna understand anything Does Yakuza Online finance all the projects, and they still do New Game Plus DLC? Yeah, see? Messed up, right? After spending so much in RGGO, you're probably gonna sleep on the ground that night. It's truly the most grounded game. True. I can show some of the translated lore, but also that, like... That is gonna be basically me just looking at other other people's work, you know, other people's translations when those are already out there, and I don't want for it to, you know, come off as leech leeching. In fact, how about I make up my own translation and we go with that? Yeah, the Yakuza 1 story is in um, Yakuza Online. And then there's the original uh, Ryuji story. I forget, was the old guy on the left or the right? I, I never am sure. Mm -hmm. Just watch the old bonds so we can see the animations technically we can still see the animations just in a limited uh, space oh wait oh there he is okay Never ask Leon how much he spent on RGG Online. I have a good answer for that, actually. I spent infinite wealth on Yakuza Online. Am I cool yet? Chat, please laugh. Thank you. Okay, I know I said we're not keeping any cutscene, but we have to. We have to keep the, uh, the you know, the, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. The uh, kidnap scene. We absolutely have to keep that. Just, you know, just to show how grounded this game is. And to further prove how Seven ruined um, the franchise. <clears throat> and to further proof that everything went to shit after Nagoshi left. Um, even though, you know, this game was made when Nagoshi was around. Ah, uh, yes, Yakuza 9. Infinite Depth. <laughs> Seven scattered... Was it losing tickets? Yo, Salamandero, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Mm -hmm. Wasn't seven made with Negoshi round two? Yes, it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even with Lost Judgment, he was around at least for some of it. The first release where he, he like, he completely wasn't involved was, uh, Lad Ishin. 
Laodicean onwards, he's... Um, He's just not there. Evil Nagoshi be like, we won't reuse assets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do wonder what Nagoshi's game is going to be like as well, but when did he announce that? Was it... It's only been a year, right? Or has it been more? Oh, was he, my? That's really cool. Damn, no wonder that game is so cool. Yeah, I like the caveman hair as well. You might be able to tell. Yeah, that is that is a true dragon. Leon, what would you name your own game studio? Uh, Angel Productions. How about that? 93k subs, buzz cut, please. Now, how about 100k? And then I'll think about it. Not guaranteed. I was... I was actually planning to... get a buzz cut, though. Um, I kind of miss being like Saejima. <laughs> Can I buy your hair? Yeah, for the low price of 10 cents. Go bald and shaved. Nah, shaved is a bit much for now. Just bald. I do miss the breeze on my bald head, yes. Oh, wait. How long have you had your beard grow? Uh, how long has it been? I think it was around Gaiden's release. Shortly before that, I uh, shaved. So what, like, two or three months now? After having hair, long hair for such an extended time, do you sometimes just want to cut it all off? Well, it's not that, it's not that, you know, what you said, it's just, I miss the breeze. <laughs> like someone just said. And also, this takes maintenance. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, as soon as I shave my hair, you're getting it. Oh, no. Sub story alert. God damn it. As a fellow long-haired man, I agree. Oi, oi. Oh, yes. I knew you would understand. Am I crazy, or was this a forced uh, tutorial on the PS3 release? Maybe, I, maybe I'm crazy. 
Weird how we never fight the police as actual Yakuza, but as a former lawyer. Yeah. Man, Yagami goes in. He has a whole police squad. Let's build a snowman! Quick question, does this game allow you to save outside of the, the telephone boxes like in the older games? Uh, you mean like from the start menu? I don't think so. You need to be in a hideout or a, a phone booth. Okay, Santa time. Soon. Soon TM. Let's go. Gee, I wonder which outfit we're gonna go with. Chat is gonna ride if we don't go for Santa. It is, yeah, Antho. Yeah, and you can also get his health to be double with that one feature. That's, you know, that's one feature of Yakuza 5 that I really love. And I'm sad they never brought that back. Having um, a second health bar. It actually makes you feel like a boss. Imagine if you could add even more than um, one health bar. A yellow one, a blue one, a green one. Asian has one, does it? I know that your default health is what? Um, are you talking about Kiwami? Oh wait, yeah, Kiwami. Your base health is red and then you add a an orange layer, right? Is there more than that? Is there, Elaine? Like, do you get another color of the health bar?
double health extract. The final boss seeing you heal five health bars with one stamina royal, yep. Why did- oh, the bike just fucking fell from the guy's hands. I have no idea why they made it so that Saijima's rush combos don't break the guard of um, enemies. Because that's how it was in Yakuza 4. And usually when I say like his combat might flow better in 4, that's why. I miss when you are because I was grounded. Oh, so cool. You know, this makes me appreciate um, what was. Uh, I think Turtle Bro made a video on this. I endorse that video so hard, dude. It's something I've always wanted to, t to touch on in a video, and just seeing someone else do that. Love. Love! If only the later games were nearly as grounded as this. If only. Like, they have such good characters. And if only they were more believable now. You know, just like that scene we, we saw. What do you rate like a Dragon Gaiden? Oh, oh shit. Oh, you're talking. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Uh, Gaiden out of 10. What's the name of the video? I forgot. Hold on. Um, it's a good watch. Oh yeah, remember when Yakuza 5 had superpowers? That's the video. And I, I'm pretty sure I did comment on that too. Yo, Giant. Nice. Leon, why did you play OG1 but not OG2? God damn it! Answer me! Oh no. Leon, why do you hate Yakuza 5? You wanna know the real reason? It's because when you do a certain move at Saijima, listen closely, hold on. Let me just get rid of one or two of these guys. Look, 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 listen, listen. That's why. Stinky Saijima. 
Not my Yakuza. That's not Yakuza, that, that's St Stinkuza. Five. Yo, nice. You know, if Saejima had a fart move, you know for a fact that would send enemies flying. That tiger fart, yeah. Spitting name. It should be a heat action. Alright, fellas, peak is coming. Peak! Alright, I'll actually take a break. I'll be right back. Um Kono with us. Okay, I'll be back. Hey,おかげさまでこの月見の雪祭りも今年で56回目を迎えることとなりました。ご承知の通り、北海道の冬というのはですね、とにかく雪が多く、切っても切れない関係にあります。その雪に親しみ、こうして毎年楽しいお祭りが開けるということは、我々月見野の人々が自然と共生しているということの証でもあります。例の網走刑務所の脱獄囚が会場の近辺に現れたという情報が入りました。警備は万全ですが、万が一ということもあります。身の回りには十分お気をつけください。うーん。どうかなさったんですかいや、何どうやら待ち浴びていた相手が来たみたいだなこれでやっとあいつとの約束が果たせそうだはだがこの状況どうやって突破する気だ気にしないでくれさあオープニングの航空ショーが始まりますよ どうですか?見事なもんでしょう 今年は結構金を使ったんですよ北方組の北方組長に間違いないなああそうだ梅さんは西島大河だなそうえこうしてあえて嬉しいぜずっとあんたのこと待ってたんだ待っとったやとどういうことえ梅さんあの真島が死んだっつう話を聞いてはるばる
あの真島五郎が最後に言い残したことは気にならねえか邪魔が入らねえ場所を用意してやるそこで話そう兄貴罠かもしれません兄貴 This might be a trap ラッタトウラッタトウセンそううん Sometimes I see people say Mirror Face is the worst plot twist in the series and I automatically think of this Cause like there is absolutely no possible way that no one, not a single person saw that Snipers, a crowd, policemen, like people sitting near him. Come on, it's funny at least, though. So, Yeah, true. Like, there was an air show, people were watching that, but are you telling me that not a single person was, like, bored and just looked around for a bit? And are you telling me the snipers were also watching the air show? <laughs> the snipers really just thought, yo, fuck this uh, VIP, let's just watch the planes. Uh, based uh, snipers, though. Must be one hell of an air show if the snipers who were supposed to be looking at potential criminals stopped doing their jobs. <laughs> like, goddamn. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I get it now. You know why they looked up? I have the perfect explanation. Those planes had the subway surfer attached to them. <laughs> that that has to be the only like possible explanation. It can't be anything else. Ugh. I believe in you. I believe in you. You guys want me to put Subway Surfers as well? I feel like this is such a mi mismatch as well, but maybe that's just me. Because Baba also has a lot of hyper armor. I don't like that Baba has a first name. Shigeki. Evil chat be like, Shigeki. No more Baba, just Shigeki. Picture all of the Baba sound bites, but they're, they're all just Shigeki somehow. That's so cursed. Shigeki! Shigeki Chan. His face. What? Look, look at this guy. Like, come on. <laughs> You're telling me this is not like Baba versus. I'm uh, sorry, Saijima versus uh, Kido, part two. It absolutely is. Anyway, we get to peak now. Finally, some good food. Uh-oh. 
You know, if there's one thing that I noticed in like Yakuza discourse, it's it's that whenever you have problems with like a female character, you're a misogynist for some reason. It doesn't have to be that. Like If I hate a male character, do I have a problem with men? Would anyone have minded if they just let you beat up people as Haruka? I, I don't care. I, I mean, if the game is fun, that's all that matters to me. If this whole game was a rhythm game, I'd be down for that. I would. That would have meant more random encounters. You know what? You got a point. Yeah, well, I have to focus. Do you want me to miss everything? Hey, listen, if you can read chat and also click all of the stuff, I applaud. A applause. Applaud. To you. I think I can just stop doing stuff now, because the, the requirements are already done.
Hmm. It's crazy that you can skip 90% mm. of the Haruka gameplay. Yeah. Master. And I also love that. <laughs> Just watched the Turtle Bro video, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty much everything that I have to say about, you know, that whole conversation, he just says it. But I think the only thing I might add is that it's not just Yakuza 5, but Yakuza 5 is um, a major player, if you will. Yo, Dr. Weeper. Thank you, Black. Thank you. Any opinions on Park as a character? Yes. I feel like everything that I have to say about her has been said. I don't want to, like, I don't want to sound redundant. And again, I don't want to give people the impression that I, like, I have a hate boner for this game. Like, I just hate everything about it, because I don't. Mm-hmm. I sure do wish we could skip this, though. You know, I think even people who like Park or defend Park have at least one problem with her. Usually that problem is the fact that she, like out of nowhere, the spot point comes up where she used to be um, uh, Majima's wife. Like, it just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> It feels like them looking for a reason or for a way to tie Majima into this game. And how do they do that? Oh, let's use Park. So yeah, I feel like that's one thing people would usually unanimously agree on that. But then, you know, the orphanage stuff is like... Uh, people are mixed on that. Some, some absolutely hate her for that. And others... Um, understand the, ca the character. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
about whether or not Yasko's crimes should have been shown? What do you guys think? I feel like... I don't know if I want it, wanted to see those, but not for the reasons you might think. Because, like, every single one of those is just going to look the same. She probably honey traps someone, and then, boom, she kills them. Crimes, um, all the Ueno Saiwa assassinations she's been doing. I can't blame you guys for forgetting, but yeah, that's something she was doing in Yakuza 4. She was just going around killing um, people for Katsuragi. Because I think the leverage he had on her is that he was gonna help her see Saijima or something like that. So she did it, she kept killing people that he wanted to uh, get rid of. Killed more people than Saijima did. That she did, yeah. <laughs> 18 count Saijima who? Step aside. We have 100 count Yasko here. How many did Saijima actually kill? Well, suppos supposedly 18, but none of them died. Well, they died, but not because of him. <laughs> Best part of the game? Yep. Facts. Zero count Saijima, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> zero, just like Yakuza Zero. Saijima in Yakuza Zero, unlockable confirmed, guys. Thank you for cracking that code, Dr. Reaper. I gotta go try that now. Oh boy, handshake event. Every time we get to this part, people just go Devil on 7 handshake event win. Just 
Now this is gameplay right here. Yeah, Mephiston. I'm so glad this is color, um... Like, it's color-based. Just pick the same color. Yeah, people who say this game is boring never played the handshake event. Eighteen assists, Saijima. <laughs> that is true, yes. He helped with stunning them. Eighteen counts, um, Katsuragi. Yeah, the comedy sub-story was a nightmare. I, I uh, remember the original. <laughs> Compete in the Princess League. So, I can just leave the controller, I think, right? Just not do anything and lose. Real, 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 real. In Yakuza, rubber bullets are fairly harmless, but in real life they can do some gruesome damage. Yes, you see, the rubber bullets in Yakuza 4 are the, are the uh, so-called highly advanced rubber bullets, not the normal ones. That's why they don't do as much damage. Yo, Karen. I don't know what that is, Chris. You had to do the comedy thing three times? Damn. Rubber bullets were fine until Arai shot Munakata in front of him and was shocked when he was alive. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about that yesterday as well. Like, come on, dude. You're supposed to be the smart, mysterious dude who, like, saw everything. But no. No. And then Arai gets shot with a rubber bullet. Yeah, that was probably the funniest thing that happened with the rubber bullets. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We do this. Except for the last one. Can you... Wait, you can just do that? Oh, shit! That's like, what, three minutes saved? Let's go! Imagine every single fight you enter, you can just do exit fight. And, like, you progress. 
Right, right. <laughs> Chat feels so robbed right now. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, are you telling me... Are you telling me this is not good enough for you? Look at all the needy people in chat. Come on. I think so, Kenja. Yeah, I think so. Uh -oh. what? Dude, we're gonna do that first song so many times. Like, we don't need to do the stage one. <laughs> we're gonna do it soon as well, in like the park. Hamashita Park, I think. Oh! Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! Wait, this is that Ogita scene, right? I think it is. Do you guys remember that Ogita scene? He, he walks into the room, sits like, what, two steps away from the water dispenser? And then he's like, yo, Hori, bring me some water. <laughs> uh, what a bitch. For a moment, I forgot who Ogita was. Man. I've never been so disappointed in my chat. <clears throat> you know, I do wonder how it was like for people who played Yakuza 0, did his sub-story, and then played this game at some point. Like, did they remember the guy? Like, did they not? Do we have anybody in chat like that? That was me. Nice. How was it? Okay, so some people did remember. I see. And others, understandably, forgot. Wait, did you remember, Adam, or did you forget? We gotta know.
Didn't Christina... Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. We did it. I have no idea. Is Christina a unisex name? Maybe? Anna? Or maybe he just thought the name Christina was cool, and he picked it. What? Could be as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe Marcelo. I think you're onto something. Always thought it was a pseudonym. Yeah, that could be it too, actually. Yo, is that pretty? How you doing? I thought it was just misspelled Christian. Yeah, who knows? I don't think they ever reused the uh, OG1 Nishiki's moveset, if I remember right. Actually, wait, no. The gas mask uh, guy in the Coliseum, I think he uses Nishiki's uh, moveset. I'm good. Um, Saijima's hunting was epic. Epic. Ogita's moveset was given to goons in uh, Zero? Pretty sure. Why is there no taxi at the bottom? You know what this reminds me of? The Hotel District um, taxi. Or lack thereof. I has the most unique moveset. So unique, they reused his normal moveset, and then they reused the knife moveset of his as well. I think. Hi. 
Sometimes the objective can be close uh, to uh, the hotel district. Um, God, what game was it again? Was it one of the judgment games? It might have been. Favorite villain in, in the series? Um, I guess Jungi. District in three as well. Three had uh, three uh, taxi spots, right? Uh, the old, old system in OG1 and 2. Thank you, Mephiston. I, I do think some games, at the very least, are more replayable than others. This is <laughs> the least replayable one. But, you know. Yakuza 4, you know... Even though Yakuza 4 took six hours today, uh, yesterday, um, it could have taken way less. I just decided to take my time with it because um, I, I wanted to stream just that for the day. So we watched some cutscenes, uh, messed around a little bit. But Yakuza 4 is one of those games that, you know, I think you can just beat in what, four hours, give or take. It does get tiring, but that's why I don't really do it that often. Huge level up. I see no fake fan here. This is most likely just <clears throat> a me thing, but um, I'm thinking back to just how lively the stream was yesterday compared to this. <laughs> and um, I'm talking about myself, by the way, like the commentary and all of that. Just th like there is a stark contrast between me playing this and me playing Yakuza 4. There's so much in 4 to like just talk about, laugh at, and whatnot. Yeah, Roxy. <sighs> yeah, Yakuza 4 is a very entertaining game. Is Yakuza 5 purgatory? Confirmed by Devil Leon 7. Which purgatory are we talking? Do, do, do. Oh. Good thing I have no more save slots. No accidental saves. Yeah, Yakuza 5 is a good game, it's just, you know, um, something about it, L let's call it different, different is not a negative word, or a positive word, 
It's just different. Unique, yes. Haruka, walk! Haruka, walk! <laughs> God damn it. This girl would text and drive. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I think I did that maybe once myself. Ay -ay. Yeah, don't drive and text, people. Take it from me. Nope. There's even less people here. Hi. Yesterday, there was... There was almost 500 at the very end. And by the way, that's not like... A coincidence, I don't think. Every single time in the past year or two... Um... When we get to the last bit in Yakuza 4... We get an insane amount of live viewers. Five hundred tuned in for four faith, yeah. Based Yakuza four enjoyers, uniting for four faith, and the and Sajima. We give you 100k subs, you do the loneliness Excellent. choreography? No.
Oh yeah, we have to do the... Where is it? There we go. Again! Okay, this one I'm not gonna go too hard on. 100k subs for a stream with only Hailstorm. That I can do. Can you play the PS3 version of Kiwami for no reason? Maybe, actually. Uh oh. So, how we doing, chat? How we doing? We doing good? Are we? Um, uh, are you snacking on something? What are you snacking on? Maybe uh, some potato chips? Or as the British call them, crisps? Maybe coffee? Maybe... Tell me. I remember I did most of the side stuff for Harka's Idol thing and this... Yeah, I mean, how many times do you have to listen to this one godforsaken song when you do all of this stuff with her? Twelve times? Biza, nice. <laughs> Rice. Entire head of lettuce, Pro a heap of paraffin. Nice NTS. I'm sure this is prime um, gym exercise material right here. Have you been doing this non-stop or just carrying over the timer? I take breaks. Um, Yarkas Online has 52 votes now. Nice. I mean, what is wrong with you, chat? Sheesh. Yeah, please, no more. I think this is another walk and talk session. It's the bullying scene. You don't want to tell Kawana about this. Yo, Vivid.
Yeah, average Yakuza a five gameplay. <laughs> Kawana is somewhere out there right now. Like, eyes red just watching this unfold. Remember when Kiri got stabbed in that area? Oh, yes. I stopped playing this game during the mountain part at Saijima. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that... I shouldn't have laughed that hard, but I did. Is it worth going back to it after I finish Gaiden? Um... Okay, why did you stop playing? Is the question. It depends on your answer. If you feel like more y maybe playing more Yakuza, then go back and like give it a try. I only laughed that hard because I understand. I get confused with those two girls, like they are mean to Haruka for a bit and nice to her when she's part of their team. Like, did they always like her and just got told to be mean? M maybe? Maybe it's just that, you know, the teen mentality. Oh, like my agency is better than yours, you know? I don't know. I think it's Akiyama time now. Yes. Not Almost. Almost. Yeah, they really take their time with the Saijima in the village. Like, it, it has to be one of the long... <laughs> Look, two previous playthroughs. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, they really take their time with the tutorial for hunting with Saijima. But once that's out of the way, you're you're good, hopefully. Mm. You can probably just quit that, right? I think you can. To be honest as well, I had just finished 400%, then grinded everything I could do with Kiryu before moving on to Saijima. So I was a little burnt out. Yeah, that also makes sense.
And hopefully the hunting game doesn't glitch. Yeah. Favorite Yakuza minigame? Either karaoke or disco. Actually, the Coliseum and Gaiden is a close contender as well. I've honestly felt pretty meh on most of the uh, Coliseums until Gaiden. Like, they're really nice to have, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the tournaments just felt the same. And yeah, a lot of them do in Gaiden as well. But Gaiden um, stepped into new territory with how they approach the arena. You know, by allowing you to play as anyone that you recruit in your team. And you have, like, these all-out fights like never before. It's basically Clan Creator mixed with the Coliseum. Uh, the Clan Creator part, you know, including the bit where you basically control anyone you want. Chicken Man Gaming, yeah. Yeah, playing these games back to back may not be the best idea. <laughs> As if I'm not doing that right now, but you know what I mean. Like, it, I, like, I guess it depends on how you play them as well. If you watch all the cutscenes again, then you will definitely get burnt out extra. Um, it also just depends on you, I guess. How easy you get burnt out. Rip. Oh, uh, who, who's this? Who's this? Who's that boy? New bar just opened, yeah. Akiyarma. Oh, this cutscene is funny. I like it. Eat. Ma. Sit. Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> Bitch, I got your tissue box. What are you gonna do about it? Top tier threat. Forget about Tamazaki, like, awkwardly staring at the chef while eating a duck head. This is where it's at. So, I'm assuming I don't have the beads, but we'll see. Yep. I ha Whoa, I have a lot of stamina and sparks, though. What the hell? Damn. Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, back to encounters, fellas. Hope this uh, doesn't go too bad. Or else I'm gonna be fucking pissed, bro. Gonna make another podcast. Um, someone was asking me about that yesterday. And I did say that I already actually recorded another podcast. I just don't have the time right now to work on it. And it's the longest podcast, by the way. 
but it can also turn into the shortest one, depending on what I do with it. But yeah, right now I have this. Um, I was planning to make a highlights video for uh, Gaiden, which I received some help with. And then uh, the, the podcast. Okay. And then I also wanted to stream the new update for the Yakuza 7 Randomizer. And maybe the Brawler mod for uh, Yakuza 7 as well. And then, you know, there's also Infinite Wealth very soon. I don't know how much I can do until Infinite Wealth. We'll see. Am I stupid, or is Curious Dragon style different in Gaiden and Six? It is. It's very different. The basics are the same, but the animations are very different. I want to see you and other creators do a podcast with Kason. I don't know how possible that would be. Thank you, Roxy. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff for this year. Oh, the roof. The roof. Yeah, because like a dragon would be a pain to speedrun. It's not as painful as you think, actually. Um, I think the act, you know, the professional speedrun takes what? Three and a half hours? Four hours, I think? And me, you know, just like relatively a casual. I did New Game Plus last time and it took me four hours, maybe, give or take. It's really not that bad. You know why? You can skip everything, unlike <clears throat> a certain game. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need Yokoyama in my podcast. Now that is gonna be amazing. I have a feeling, I know I said this like four times already, but I have a feeling the Yakuza 8 speedrun is going to be as long as Yakuza 5. Maybe a bit longer, but yeah, would be funny. Okay. You... I think in my first playthrough, I didn't change jobs. I like uh, the default jobs. Are you scared that it might be that infinite wealth might be overly bloated? Well, yeah, that's always a concern. Um, because they did say, oh, this is the biggest game. Oh, 70 hours, hundred hours. Ah. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But you know what? Sonhi being playable in a game, in that game, is automatically... Uh, it automatically makes that game the best game in the franchise for me, so... Yeah. Psycho default job. It's not that bad. It really isn't. Like, Ichiban is an amazing healer in his default job. Yeah, Speedo Adachi. Oh, 
Also, apparently, the new pronunciation for Sun He is wrong. A Korean viewer told me uh, not too long ago, which I found interesting. Like, Song Hui is the correct one. So, I don't know what th what that's about. Maybe they were trolling, maybe not, but that's what I was told. Maybe there's a reason behind it. They had it right before. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. I, I really do hope, like, they did take the input of um, um, either people who speak Korean or actual Koreans. I would imagine they did, but, you know. Yeah, Sonhi is how they pronounce it in Japanese. Maybe that's the logic behind it. I don't know. But... What is that song? You're, yeah. Songhi. Yeah, what song is that? Oh my god. What? You want me to... Is this, is this what you're looking for? Because <laughs> you got it for me. Oh no, is this the Saigo part? It is. Oh, fuck this guy, dude. <sighs> Maybe it's just like how they butcher English names like Kurisu instead of Chris. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have the Beads of Good Fortune on Akiyama. I have them on Kiryu and Saijima now. So, it's gonna take two more playthroughs, and then I have them on everybody. Oh, those playthroughs are gonna be epic. Actually, no, we still have to deal with Yakuza 5, so... Row, 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 row. Can you not use the item box? No, not until the last, last, last bit, where the item box becomes shared. Oh, I have to. Okay, okay, I see. God, I miss when you because I was grounded. Anybody else? I noticed that in the RGG roundup that the MP points have been decreased severely. They really want us to improve. Yeah, I did notice that too, like in the demo and in videos as well. Like, the MP amount is so, so, so low. Like, I'm trying to remember how much it can go up to in 7, but I forgot. Does anyone remember? A thousand, maybe? I think it can go above a thousand, right? If I remember right. Like at the very end game, especially for magic-focused characters, like Namba. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So maybe they're gonna rebalance how MP works in... Uh, um, Infinite Wealth. You know, no, wait, wait, wait. I did notice something in the demo as well. You know how every single um, attack, normal attack, will restore MP now? That used to be a number only no, thing. Go, go. Now everyone has it. And if you do a combo attack, you get more MP. And you get it for both characters. So yeah, maybe they want you to do those as well. And you might actually rely less on items that way. You know?
That might be genius. So MP is now like heat bar. Yeah, it's way more like heat bar than it was in 7, if that makes sense. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that one. But yeah, that's what it seems like to me. It's not that they don't want you to rely on MP as much. It's that they want you to be able to work for it in battle. Not just, you know, rely on items. Which, yeah, like, yeah, that's cool. I like it. Your pocket? Yeah, we heard that a few times. Don't worry, that's why we're spreading fake spoilers. That will surely combat everything. Ichiban has 2.5k MP? No fucking way. What? Do you use cheats? You can... Okay, you, you can break through a thousand. And if you really, really, like, somehow farm, like, boosters... Maybe you can get it to what? Uh... 1.5k? Okay, okay. By the way, you can farm the stat boosts, right? But how do you do it? I heard... Um, Dragon Cart is one way, but it seemed like a pain in the ass. Oh wait, true. Wait, true. Final Millennium Tower gives you stat boosters. Really? I actually never knew. Oh, fellas, best move set in the whole franchise, right here, the source. <laughs> Do I have the counter with Akiyama? Okay, I guess I don't. Man, I really need to uh, unlock stuff. Wait. No, I do. I do. What? He's like, all right, you piece of shit. Stop. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, rip the nice balls after this. Oh, sorry, mysterious man. Now this is Foggers. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. True family Tower gives crazy yen, then you stack it with Nouveau rich crowns on the whole party. Huh. So wait. Okay, you get all that money, but how how do you get the stat boosters? Also, yeah, uh, when it comes to eight, uh, reviewers and journalists already have the game. So maybe that's how it leaked? Like the the spoilers? You see that happen every time, like with all all games. Resident Evil 4 Remake, <laughs> like big leaks happened with that. Oh, there is a shop. Wait, really? What shop is that? Bruh. Oh, is it the new game plus only thing? Ah. Oh. 
That's you probably why I missed it then. But where do you find it? Final Fantasy VII got leaked as well. Bruh. Wouldn't it surprise me if they limit review copies next time. Yeah. Apparently 4chan has some actual endgame spoilers. Journalists should really pay closer attention to their PC security. Yeah. I think... I'm not saying, you know, big name re reviewers don't have people who do this but like i feel like the problem does stem from the fact that um maybe codes um are given out to like very small uh reviewing groups which you know i don't want to say like you shouldn't do that because you would like you're supporting smaller reviewers that way which is good but also you know it's a double-edged sword I think for Capcom, like for Resident Evil 4 Remake, I'm pretty sure... No, let, let me not say I'm pretty sure, but... I think whoever leaked the, the stuff, like, actually faced consequences. Oh man, GTA 6, that's... A whole nother can of worms. I mean, honestly, okay, m maybe, I'm not, I don't mean to sound disrespectful or rude, but I feel like GTA 6 is a game where, like, people don't play to the story for the most part. You're just there to, like, to put it in one streamer's words, you're there to have sex with hookers and then shoot them for their money. <laughs> I'm not saying I I don't even play GTA, but I heard someone who said that. He's memeing, obviously, but. Yeah, you know, I never said people don't play GTA for the story. Like a majority of people play GTA probably just to like mess around. Run over people, shoot people, you know, just drive around in cars. Or yeah, the strip club. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. I've had, I've known people who played GTA games a lot, like way more than I did. I played GTA 5 and I finished the story. Um... And like whenever my friends talk about playing GTA together, like, it's it's not uncommon for them to just bring up like going to a strip club together. Still haven't finished the story. Just play for online. Yeah. Yes. As far as stories go, though, I, I heard Fives is on the lower end. I think people usually love uh, San Andreas and uh, 4 more than any other one. Th those are the two that I always see praise for, but I don't know.
Yeah. Yeah. Five has a great story, okay. but S A yeah. and four blow it out of the water, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much like all I hear about. Well, when, like the topic of stories with GTA in general. Um. Good. The contract update. There. I, I did play GTA Online for a bit, not for too long, but there was a time when uh, someone... So I was playing with a friend, he he had a friend or two also. One of his friends reached out to me about doing, I think it was called the Mastermind Challenge or something like that. It's like a super, super, super difficult challenge, but he got a lot of money out of it. Um, so yeah, one time that dude recruited me and two other people and that was really fun like just mess it like trying our best to get through that challenge um and sometimes hilariously failing um that was fun we managed to do it in the end four is like is the like the game that that is the epitome of vind Vindicate by History moment. Used to be slandered so hard mm -hmm. since it's only one city. And now people praise mm -hmm. 4 for oh, the story. I tell you, dude. It's the YouTube essay mentality. Game comes out. Oh, what, what is this piece of shit? Like, who would play this? Fast forward five years later. The misunderstood masterpiece of whatever series. And like, it's four hours. The absolute state of, yeah, video essays, yep. <laughs> Happens to every Pokemon game. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think you wait for a phone call here, and then you go to the parking lot. So I guess I'll hang around here. Boy. Oh no. Damn it! Hmm? Yeah. Bruh! I didn't want to get roped into this. Oh, for God's sake, dude. What if I fail? Just fucking fail. I don't want to do this. Yeah. What? Are you kidding me? So instead of like, just kicking me out of the sub story and having me try again when I want to, that's what you do? Man. Yakuza 5 sure is a game. The problem is, I think I'm gonna get roped into, like, what, two other chases? Fuck, dude. What is it with this game and Ford's, like, side content? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to progress? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. too bad. Yeah, see? Amazing. Yeah. 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 
By the way, I think some other games do have this kind of thing, but... I'm trying to think of which one that does. I, I'm not sure. Yo, Erica, I am not good. How are you? Again? Dude. You would think he would learn his lesson, but no. Leon, do you play the Persona games? No, I have not pl played a single Persona game. Someone gifted me Persona 5, though, and I still haven't played it. Um, I mean someone from chat. And a third... Okay, no, it's a fight. Slightly better. Okay, can we please, like, end this right now? Like, right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, here we go. We ordered Persona 3 Reload, just waiting for February now. Nice. Two, 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 two. Oh. Oh my god. Please, stop. I have a game to finish here. Sheesh. Oh. Uh. You know, this made me remember s something about the Dragon Engine games. A quality of life edition, actually. You know how in the Dragon Engine games, a lot of sub-stories now have like... If you want to start them, there's a green arrow pointing at the person or like the group of people. Um, and only by talking to them, you start the sub-story. Yeah, I've come to appreciate that a lot more in this single stream. Yokoyama? Nine. I think six had... Yeah, some games de definitely do have this. One, two, like originals have that. Uh... The, the thing is, though, I think most of them, like, yeah, you start a conversation, but then you choose whether or not you want to engage in it. And the good thing about any Dragon Engine game substory is that you have a full-on skip option. Like, at least the dialogue is all skipped. Um... Speaking of Fantasy Star, anyone play online? Fantasy Star, is it two online or online two? It's probably it's probably two online, right? You know, I downloaded that, played it for a bit with my friend. Um, he uh, basically carried me through some stuff, and th there's a bunch of like collab stuff, like really cool collab stuff, like the Yakuza Seven collab. 
Um, okay. There's an Ichiban outfit and like a Psycho Good. Matriarch outfit. I think I got those and then I just left. <laughs> Anybody suffer from this disease as well? Where you have a live service game, you go and you um, buy something and then you return to not playing it. Hey, what are we seeing here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Fantasy Star Online 2 also had an Ishian collab. Yeah. This forger character is confusing. I forgot his whole deal. Can you actually tell me? I think, like... Oh, wait. Parker fan... Uh, Parker. <laughs> what is this? Spider-Man? Uh, Park fan and Haruka fan casually ag agrees to forge a Park suicide note. Uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, that is so weird. Huh. Maybe the money was too good. You know? The moral of Yakuza 4? Money? Money. <sighs> Okay, I think this one is just a conversation and he can refuse. <laughs> yep, there we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. This whole thing is weird. Why is a 60-year-old man obsessed with a 16-year-old? Yeah. What Roxy just said. You look, see that emoji? Love you, Akaza, but I feel bad for you that you have to put yourself through all of that. No, I really don't mind replaying most of these games on stream. Um, Yakuza 5 eventually... Like ends up having me go, oh god, we have to go through this. And then, minutes later, oh god, we have to go through that. Oh god, we have to go th You know? Most other games, though, it's just like... It feels like a breeze in comparison. Oh, we're gonna have an actor moment in a bit. Where is the positive spin about Yakuza 5 again? If there is one positive thing about this game, it's, uh... You could skip 5, bro. <laughs> it's chill. Nah, we have to do it. Yo, Salvatus. Oh god, we have to go through Akiyama commenting on someone's acting skills again. Yep. How many times th does that happen in this game? Like three times? Or four? I I, I don't know. Oops. Okay, here we go. Final song. Hey, excuse you. I did not slander this game. I don't know what you're talking about. Speak for yourself, chat. Do not include me there. Oh no, combo lost.
Do you guys think that was Haruka or Christina? Maybe Christina arrived here after like going in on KFC, you know? Yo, Lucas, welcome. I'm sorry, Goku. <laughs> oh. You know, Goku Doni, I feel you on that one, actually. That was a podcast I was watching. Uh, they use a sound, like, it's what, an hour and a half? There's one sound effect they used. And, like, it caught me off guard so hard, it actually jump scared me. Go. Scarier than that Shinada quick time event in a cutscene? Yes. Yes. And those 24 hour ASMR things with a sneaky jump scare sound? Oh, you wait. You mean. You mean. <laughs> getting jump scared by an ad. You're listening to that oh, ASMR and then... <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome. Check out Raid Shadow Legends. Get a free hero today using code DEVILLEON6. Download now. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Koala. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Final round. So wait, this time you do get the choice before the actual thing, right? Whether or not you want to do it. If you pick not, uh, not to do yes. it, can he just proceed with the story? Does anyone know? I heard Kuwana, not Koala. 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 Money. I mean, we can just do it and skip. No, I am actually not ready. Yes, I want to drop out of the final round. I, yes, I am sure. Finally. I almost thought they were going to ask me a fourth time. Yo, Soupy, thank you for the two months. Yippee! Yippee! Uh... More time for Yakuza Online, yeah. Hey, 
What? What? Okay. Let's do this, I guess. That's how you get locked out of 100%. See? Another instance of bad game design. Boom. I like Yakuza 5. <laughs> but like, seriously, between this and like the karaoke song that... Sh that... Whoa. RGG devs. What, what, what is this? You know what I mean? More. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this guy is back. You need to show us your screenshot folder after this. What, so you can see a hundred screenshots of Katsuya? Super chat not working? It is. Uh, I just <laughs> muted the alerts because um, when some like when someone gifts five or ten or twenty gifted subs, we get twenty notifications. Hold on, did, did I not read what you said? Let me check. Oh, yeah. Hey, apparently people love it, so I guess I might as well keep the fart sounds. It was an experiment, and it seems like it was a success. But I think you can just skip this actually. Oh, maybe not. But I think there is a skippable part. Maybe not. I guess we'll see. Kiyama, please stop talking. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Akiyama, please. Akiyama! Yeah, Rip having the ability of rushing through these battles. Same bloops. I wouldn't mind them if, like, you can skip them, but you can't skip them. And they do prevent you from doing stuff like heat actions. Um, 
sometimes damaging enemies, but there's like one or two uh, situations with that. I love these dialogues, they teach you patience. Yeah, but Yakuza 5 already does that, like the game itself. I should fail that one day, it's pretty funny. Alright, Troll Gamer, thank you, buddy. By the way, I was talking about this in the beginning, but you know when you buy a new piece of fabric, you know, blanket, clothes, whatever, and like, it emits a lot of, like, I don't know what to call it, foam, small pieces of fat, like, tiny bits of fabric, um, what do you guys do to, um, combat that? I washed the, the thing, and I dried it as well, and it still kind of has that, which is annoying because it leaves um, stains. Fluff, yeah. New blanket, yep. Alright, I guess I'll have to deal with these guys fucking chilling in a corner here. Full of fluff, like Yakuza yeah, 5. Listen, you say one more bad thing about this game, and I'll get the mods to ban you. Yeah, maybe I just need to give it a good shake. The thing is, I did wash it once already, and it still has that. Anyway, I'll actually take a break now. Um, be right back. Actually. あの、いや、<笑> ある あるもの。パクが別れた元旦那から受け取った手紙や。なんだそりゃ。どういうことだ。連中はパクの元旦那ってのを探し出そうとしてるらしい。パクの手紙からその居所を掴もうとしとんや。とにかく俺は台無しの
戻ってきたパクを捕まえて手紙のありかを聞き出そうとしたんやでもあいつは口を割らずに逃げ出そうとしたここで逃げられたら俺は終わりやそう思って夢中で追っかけて気がついたらパクの頭を廊下に叩きつけとったわそれっきりあの女は動かなくなってもうたクソなんてこと自殺の偽装は全部カメンがやった恐ろしく手慣れとったで他殺の証拠が残ってたら事件現場にあったものは何でもかんでも警察に押収されちまうからなその間に何とか手紙を探し出してパクの元旦那の居所を突き止めるつもりやったんやだから自殺に見せかけたってわけか堀江ちゃんを殺そうとしたのはなぜだ堀江を殺そうとしたんは金井や手紙のありかを吐き出させようとしたんが堀江は何も知らんの一点張りやそしてもみ合ったあげく突き落とされたんやパクさんの別れた旦那ってのは一体何者なんだそこまでは知らん俺が知ってることは全部話したなたらむ俺も被害者なんや死にとお全部洗いざらい警察に話すせやから俺をこっから連れ出してくれタラムお前に被害者ずらされちゃパクさんが浮かばれねえよ頼む知りたくねえ助けてくれ今から騒ぎが起こる逃げたきゃその隙を見て勝手に逃げりゃいいなんやあんた何する気やもともとは金井に会いに来たんだがお前と話してやつを殴らなきゃいけなくなったんだねやめとけあた少しくらい腕が立つからって金井はあいつは化け物や早くこっから出た方がええこのまま手ぶらじゃ帰れないんだよ金井は施設の中かだったらどないする通させてもらうぜ<笑>おもろいこと言うやないかいなかなか笑えるで東京も見しちゃうああそうかいこっちは今カッカ来てるんだねやるなら死ぬ気でかかってきなよう言うたわ OK don't worry I'm back don't worry just in time <笑>
Why don't you have the camera on? Chad called me ugly. So I took away from them what they didn't want to see. What's the weirdest question he got asked? Uh, I'm trying to think. What? I don't know. Yes, that does count, yeah. guy asking me about the Gaiden rating. I mean, I just took that one as, I don't know, just dumb spamming. Do you think Akiyama... Wait. Do you think Akiyama beats up more Omi in 5 than Kiryu and Gaiden? M maybe? Oh shit, do you see that to the left? Not good. Not good at all. I am not moving to the, to the left. Oh, come on now. Yeah, the spawn camping. Yeah, this is also my favorite horror game. Raiden jump scare, yeah. <laughs> He approaches Kiryu first, right? Garden of September. Don't you have the beads of good fortune? I gave them to Saijima. And then I got new ones with Kiryu. And I can't get any more with Akiyama or Shinada. So what I'm gonna have to do is... In the finale of this, I'll move the beads from Kiryu to either Shinada or Akiyama. And then on the next new game plus, I'll get uh, more for Kiryu. And then that way I can get another for the last character. Okay, we're almost done with this part. I think. We excited for Shinada? Shinada fans, hello?
Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Shinada. <laughs> yeah, Shinada fans are here. They just fell asleep. Um, because we're not at the good at the good part of, uh, yet, but we will be soon. Soon we will be. Yo, zombie dude, how you doing? Leon, on a scale of zero to ten, how much do you hate Yakuza Five? Uh, six, maybe. But I feel, wait, wait, that, that question is a bit brutal. Why didn't you ask me on a scale of one uh, or zero to ten, how much do you like Yakuza 5? <laughs> See, there's a difference. I would have said like six or five as well. Then what game would have a 10 scale? I don't know. It's hard for me to completely hate a game. Take it, why not? How much do you like a game is a typical question. Gonna change it up somehow. You know what's sad about uh, media coverage in general? Negativity attracts attention more. We truly live in a society. Whoa, whoa! Akiyama? What did I just see? Dragon engine. Buggiest engine, they say. Oh, I know what they'll say to this one. Oh, it's the... It's actually a remaster issue. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Yeah, he, he fucking obliterated that air. Holy shit. Hello, Hassan. Shakhbarak. Yeah, Yakuza 5 is doing such incredible things to my mind that we all just mass hallucinated um, an invisible enemy all together at the same time. Now, you know, I, I think that says something about not me, but the game giving us all that effect. That enemy was there. We were just not... Uh, we, we were hallucinating. Now we sleep. Excuse me. Uh, hold on. Okay, no beads. Was just checking. She not a baseball man. Yeah, look, Shinada was lying about being broke. You see that? 
We got him right where we want him. Uh, later, dragon. I unironically think he has the best chapter. In terms of story, I also do. Like, it really is... Um, it's more engaging than all the other chapters. And in my opinion, it falls apart when they try to connect everything with him. With, like, the overarching story. Do you say overarching or overarching? Yeah, okay. <laughs> King? Oh, what do we have here? An English debate? 50-50? Are we divided? Maybe people say both, depending on the place. Am I a fake fan for liking Yakuza 3? Not at all. I like Yakuza 3 more than 5. Google says Cha. What is it now? Let's go with Ka, I guess. Overarching. I, you know, I like... Uh, three and four more than five, of course, but three story is better than four, but four's gameplay is better than three's gameplay. So, I don't know where I would put those. Like, do I put them on the same tier because, like, you know, they have something the other doesn't? I guess I would. No. Yo, Shima, how you doing, buddy? Me. <coughs> Hell yeah, infinite wealth hype. I heard the Yakuza 3 has some bugs in it. I think I've seen a bug in every single Yakuza game at this point. Listen to this. Listen! Now this is peak. That's what I'm talking about. Anything bad about Yakuza 3? For me, it's Tamiya's ranting, but past that, it's peak. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Let's see. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> Chat, please contain yourselves. Please. You know, I really like this next bit of gore that happens. But it feels like the execution was the, was the most anticlimactic thing ever. But I still like the idea. See? Hold on, look. Boom! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please, I beg your forgiveness. Damn, imagine, imagine a pen though, going through there, holy shit. Can you imagine if that was a cutscene? Man. Like, think... Think, uh, Sawashiro levels of gore. Like, they show, like, the inside of the mouth being pierced. Damn. Yeah, pocket. <laughs> oh no, it's Uno! They spend the budget on the Haruka songs, yeah. The Haruka songs and the celebrities that they brought. So, did he get early access to Infinite Wealth? Sadly, no. But, Chad can pray for that. Nagoya組って怖いのかな。俺も。can someone in chat go, no, I will in fact not pray for that to happen for you? I don't know, I, I felt like Tanimura was actually decent with crowds, unlike Shinada. Shinada's combat is very, very repetitive. Um, even if you try to make it not, you eventually fall back into the... What's it called? Was it my explosive finish or whatever? The, the bounding throw-like moves? Uh, you always go back to those. A lot of other moves just don't work, especially for bosses. Yeah, 1v1 Shinada is really good. He, he can basically infinite opponents. No, no, not my meteor tackle. The, again, the, the bounding throw kind of move. Yeah, my meteor, my can't speak. My meteor tackle um, seems like it would be good, but sadly the damage really is not that. Um, Tiny Mora has two grab phases, if you want to call them phases, two uh, grab types. Let's yeah, let, let's go with grab types. Um, the second type, if you throw enemies, it will uh, cause other enemies to fall down. Um, and the damage it also deals is pretty good. Especially for the person you're, um, uh, attacking. No, fuck, I wasn't looking. Ah, uh, whatever. I think all you get for that is, like, drinks. Uh, so yeah, you do that. Uh, you get iframes, you damage everyone around you. And... Sometimes the parry that Tanimura has is also good for, like, making uh, enemies around you, like, just bump into each other and also fall, fall down. And also the parry against enemies with hypo armor is extremely good. Like, see, that, th that's an example of such a useful tool also working for bosses. God, brass knuckle enemies... Tanimura can actually do something about them. Um, he can make them fall, whereas a lot of other characters struggle with that. Akiyama can do that, normally. Maybe if you do a heat action, then yeah, they'll be on the ground, but you can't do a ground heat action on them. Tanimura can do that. Um, 
And yeah, he, he just has a lot of tools. The rush combo heat actions are so good as well. You can use them on normal enemies, you can use them on bosses. And they also have a, like an unlockable uh, extension to them. Except one of them. There's like five of them in total though. And the rush combos, I would say, are definitely... I'm not going to say like they're all about crowd control, but they do have reach compared to Shinada. Can we get a home run? Oh, I think you're supposed to miss this one. complain about his combat but refuse to use weapons. Oh, Shinada, you mean? Um, I mean, even with weapons, he's not, like, a super upgrade. It might be better, but it's a maybe. Baseball and Yakuza and Judgment is a mystery to me. How the fuck do you play it? So, I think if you just have the, what do you call it, the cursor, like the baseball icon, be where it's supposed to be, then you can home run with it, but otherwise it's not gonna do that. Yakuza with weapons? Cringe. <laughs> uh I remember seeing videos of people fighting bosses with weapons, and the comments are all just that, basically. <laughs> Tak- Takasugi is the best side character in this game. And he can't change my mind. New snowiest video. Oh yeah, I think I saw that on Twitter earlier. I'll be back after you do two fights in this game. Gotcha. I'll still be here. Yeah, sorry Mayumi, but... Yo, look who's dripped out. Yeah. Oh no. You know, he actually has a pretty slick looking suit. Yeah, Nakajima is also cool. Who's your least favorite Yakuza 5 character, Babachan? No. This guy. Yeah, he has a really cool looking aura as well. Way cooler than he deserves. Which do you prefer? Battle of the Dream or Dead Deadly Struggle? Deadly Struggle. Battle of the Dream is really good, but it's never been like a tough favorite for me. Uh, please keep your pitchforks away.
Can we all agree that Shinada is the best character in the game? Well, chat, can we? Let's find the contrarians. I'm just kidding. Kanai is better. <laughs> okay. Uh. No. <laughs> Damn, chat is, uh... Chat is on fire today. With all these hot takes. Do you personally disagree with any localization decisions in the English script for the Yakuza games like... <laughs> Only children believe in dragons? I mean... Even, like, the, the worst... Um, in quotations, localization choices... Just end up becoming memes, so... It's whatever. Oh my. They're not gonna make me lose sleep. They're not gonna make me send death threats to anybody. Um, yeah, it's whatever. Can I or Jimmy? Who the fuck is Jimmy? Groovy? Mods! Get him! So. <laughs> Look, Daigo, gun. <laughs> First fucking reflex. Now that's how you know it's Daigo. <laughs> oh, Daigo, never change. I wonder how long it's gonna be before we beat the game. Last time it was uh, 7 hours 47 minutes. Probably with the intro of the stream as well. <laughs> Never got the Daigo hate. I think he's a great character. I think he's alright as well. <sighs> you know, once upon a time, Daigo legit legitimately was one of the most hated characters. I feel like that was the case until people started actually started to talk about the fact that everything he's doing was forced upon him by Kiryu. And I'm really glad that came out because, yeah. Man, I miss when Yakuza was grounded. Fuck's sake, dude. Can he just leave this, I wonder? Alright. The whole plot of the games can be blamed on Kiryu basically abandoning the Tojo. Yeah. And, you know... The games definitely would have gone on if Kiryu stayed with the Tojo, but it's just a matter of how would how would it have been like? Are you gonna add judgment to the stream if it wins? Yeah, sure, but um, so far two games have won and they weren't judgment. Thanks for the worm. Are you interested in games like Baldur's Gate 3? 
I wanted to give it a try, but also I know it's a huge game and I don't know if I'm going to have the time for it anytime soon. Especially this month. Oh boy, this month. I already feel like a mom trying to take care of like four kids. So maybe, I don't know, next month? The month after the next? The Tojo clan is so incompetent if they have to keep relying on one man. Yeah, it is. Oh, look, it's Chicken Fajita. Now, this truly is the character of all time. <laughs> like... Dude, Tamiya slays any other side character. Easily slays Fajita. I already forgot his name and it was right in front of me five seconds ago. Just Yakuza 5 things. Do, 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 do. Uh, what was that quiz website you guys told me about? Where we can have like a live uh, quiz? I think I avoided. I think I just avoided an encounter by chance. Kahoot, yeah. Um, I'm gonna hold a quiz where someone has to explain the entirety of the Yakuza 5 plot. Let's see if we get any winners from that. By the way, you have to mention all the characters. Yes, by name. All the key players in each part, um, the relevant characters to um, each arc, you know, the whole shebang. <laughs> Even Black gave up. Understandable, honestly. What if I know the plot, but I'm not a quick typer? We'll give you all the time in the world. Do you think Morinaga is Hanawa? They confirmed that already. Can I do a PowerPoint presentation? No. It has to be by memory. Like, you're, no one is allowed to look anything up. Infinite Wealth releases as you type out the... Yeah, the plot. Oh. You want to test us? Well, what's the name of the Saijima trainer in 5, Leon? Wasn't it Tenkai?
Hey, listen, I'm not saying I know everything. I just want to see if you guys do. So-called Yakuza 5 fans. Yeah? Oh yeah, Tendo, right. Yeah, I'm a fake fan. <laughs> Shit. Guess I have to pass the torch of my channel to someone else now. Uh, it was nice meeting you guys. Uh, I'll see you never. Hot take, Yakuza 5 is better than Gaiden. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. that is a hot take. We got a hot take. <laughs> In a world of cold hot takes, that is a hot take. Refuse to engage. Take Yasko is better than Akame. Okay, chat is tweaking now. Gaiden being better than five is fine, but I draw the line at Yasko being a better character than anyone. You know, I do also like Akame, yeah. but uh, when it comes to the story, she really doesn't do that much. She's mostly the uh, side mission uh, person. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a street on this map called Kume Boulevard, and it upsets me. Is there? Kumano, maybe? I think it's Kumano. But she says Joe to you. True, she does. Joe to you. I think there is a Kume Boulevard somewhere. You might, like, I, I think they're onto something. I just think it's a different game. Two, two, two. I legit forgot Yasuko was a character, even though we just saw, we saw her in yesterday's stream. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me shake things up a little bit. Uh, like, RGG female characters being plot devices is a meme. Now, chat, come up with male plot device characters. Yeah, let's shake things up a little bit. Because usually, we, like... Um, I see people talk about how it's it's only female characters that are that, but you know, let's let's actually try to think of male characters who like don't serve a purpose, except advance the, the story. Baba, <laughs> oh, the florist, Daigo. Actually, you know who? J uh, not Jimmy. Uh, Hamazaki in three. Hamazaki, like he's just there in the background. That that's it, literally. Oh, what's this? He made a deal with the Snake Flower Triad? Oh. Cool. No one cares. And then he fucking disappears. Until the end of the game. Aizo. Oh, yeah, yeah, Aizo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I do agree with that. Like, e even the plot tosses Aizo around. Ihara. <laughs> Kanai, okay. Kazuki, Haruto. Hmm. Yo, Dustin, thank you for the honey a tear, buddy. Appreciate it, thank you. Jimmy, oh god, Jimmy actually is a plot device. Yes, absolutely. Jimmy Lowe, the legend. My favorite part about Jimmy is that he gets introduced dead. <laughs> like, as soon as you... The, the moment you hear about him, he's dead. So yeah, the definition of plot device. Um, and like, the later things you see of him are just flashbacks. And you know, you see them because they're like, Oh, you know, Jimmy actually did this and that. And yeah, that's Jimmy. <laughs> so yeah, Jimmy is a plot device. Uh... Tamiya definitely is a plot device. My guy is literally there to just to like summarize everything you need to know about the story. Both Arakawas, yeah, you might you might be onto something there. Akiyama, mm. Akiyama in five maybe. I'll agree with that. He's mostly there to protect Haruka. That's it. That that's all he's in five for. Nothing else. Uh, I love how safe and comfortable you feel with Tamiya. Yeah, goals. Goals. Sudo. Shinji. I don't know. I feel like Shinji was more than that, if you ask me. Zheng. Mabuchi. Yeah. Yeah, sort of, yeah. I think it's easier to name characters who aren't plot devices, because now we're just shooting the whole cast. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, yeah. Nishiki and OG1. Hmm. Takashima, okay. But yeah, see, the, 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 the point of all this is that there most definitely is plot device male characters as well. It's not an exclusive thing to female characters. But yeah, it's usually that you don't really find as many well-written female characters, I guess. But even that is subjective. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> you okay? Um. Wait, did I go to the wrong place? I think I did. But yeah, even that is subjective. People still love Kaoru, for example. I did see people who love Yumi. Uh, you know. There's more male plot device characters than there is female. Yeah, mayhaps. I think it's just, you see that being brought up in a conversation because the amount of female characters is way less than the male characters, so... You know what I mean? Yeah, time loss. God damn it. Huh? 
Shinada's like the complete opposite since he just appears without any relevance to the story, refuses to elaborate, leaves, but he's loved by everyone. Yeah. Like, Shinada does have his own story, which I think is probably why his part is the best for me. There is a story, and it's not related to the clusterfuck that's going on, until, you know, the very end. You know, if I didn't know any better, Shinara's part, you could easily tell me, Yo, check out Kurohio 3, and I would believe it. Anybody else? Huh? No? Okay. Okay, maybe not Kurohio 3, but like, you know, a spin-off, like Kurohio or Judgment. But, but you know, it's a baseball guy. I would love if Infinite Wealth acknowledges Yasko in some form, at least she'll have some impact on the characters outside of 4. Yeah. Mayhaps. Look, this is chat arguing on whether or not 5 is a good game, and Shinara's me. Yes, totally. And then we spot the sex bot, and then we all go after them. <laughs> See? So symbolic. And then everyone becomes friends again. The end. Whoa. Slow down, buddy. Holy shit. Man, it's been so long since we saw um, Naked HD. So terribly long. Uh-oh. Well, there goes that guy. The last sex bot was on your Chainsaw Massacre stream. Ye yeah, yeah. And I think there was also a Trump bot somewhere. Whoop. 
Will Naked HD come back to the Infinite Wild stream? Let's hope. Yeah, don't worry. Panadol will fix him. <laughs> the Bahraini solution. For those who don't get it, basically proofing. Ibuprofen. Yeah, following debris. Favorite plot device in fire. Gotta give YouTube credits. Uh, the bots are less common nowadays. That is true, yeah. They have been for a while, honestly. Bellas Sakai. Is this anyone's favorite boss? Let me see those ones in the chat right now. Sakai. Man with the theme of extermination. Anybody? Sakai fans? Hello? Chat? Oh, there we go. We have a one. Nice. <laughs> oh, chat. You're so cool to fight, man. Twitter is still sometimes unusable because of bots. Oh, yes it is. I swear to god, like, every single post at this point has a bot in, in, on the Twitter. Every single one. Crypto bots, AI bots... Everything. The Sakai fans are sleeping. I'm sure of it. Yeah. I wonder why. Price of Truth. Yo, King Narukumi, how you doing, buddy? Hope the project uh, planning is going well. This is probably the most tragic scene in all of Yakuza 5. Anybody with me? Look at look at just the dreams. I'm not memeing. Look at look at the hope and hopes and dreams over this precious cupcake just taken away. You know, it's so sad. How come Roxy doesn't get a sub there at every stream? They did say why last stream, I think. Uh, their account is like a business account or something, so they're they're not nominated. Or they're not eligible, rather. A brand account, I guess, yeah. Uh, Immune. Immune to memberships. Has RGG ever given you an early copy? The last one that I got was uh, Judgment, the first one. You know, I actually even completely forgot about that one. I thought it was Kiwami 2, but no, it was Judgment. So yeah, it's been a while. I wish subs would block out ads for streams at least. Yeah, that would be nice. 
Emo. How much earlier? Uh, I, I think it depended, but for the most part, for like the m most of the games, it was like a day or two before. I need to praise five <laughs> to get an early copy. Yeah. Oh man, Yakuza Five is the biggest game in the franchise. And you, you know, because because of that, it's probably up there, like in my top three, even not not top five or ten, top three. Uh, Shinada is one of the best characters they ever introduced. Takasaki is one of the best side characters they ever inter introduced, and this game is such is is just so full of surprises. Uh, there's a lot of mini games. There's a lot of sub stories. Like, the amount of content is practically infinite. Uh, there's there's something in this game for everybody. And the fighting styles of each character really sets them apart. And then, of course, you have Haruka being a unique character. Where uh, it's a rhythm minigame with her. It's, uh, you know... It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yakuza 5 is a wonderful game. And I highly recommend everybody try it. What'd you think of that? Binary domain. I'm never gonna play that game, am I? I want to, but something comes up every single time. By something, I mean, I'm like, nah, I don't want to play it, and I just do something else. A lot of that is about to apply to Infinite Wealth. Oh, yes. Infinite Wealth is going to be the top one. No questions about it. Also, look at this creepypasta uh, path. Dead silence. Just footsteps of, of uh, Shinara. Infinite Wealth is my most anticipated game of all time. Hell yeah. I am 120% sure that game is going to live up to expectations. It simply will. Uh, except when it comes to New Game Plus. But other than that, you know. Hounds people were evil all along? No way. The wait for infinite wealth is so agonizing. Yeah. I'm hoping to help with that with these streams. You guys are always more than welcome to hang out. After playing the demo, I don't know how it can surpass every expectation. Yeah. Truly. I can see myself spending more time on Dondoka Island than the rest of the game. I grinded the hell out of another life in Ishin. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a, a separate game for a lot of people. If there's one good thing about the Yakuza 5 stream in particular, it's that it's longer. So that's more uh, distraction for you guys. Now, play Yakuza Online during Infinite Wealth launch day. 
If they have a Yakuza 8 event, maybe. Yo, yo, it's never gonna happen, but imagine this. They bring Danny Trejo and Yakuza online. <laughs> now that, I'm spending on. I'm playing Yakuza 5 only today. Alright. The height of this whole section right here. Watch. Yeah, John Cena has a chance. Absolutely. I might go on a social media blackout and release to avoid spoilers. Absolutely go for it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, God damn it, dude. Thankfully, you know, being uh, bumped into doesn't matter too much, but yeah, the the, uh, the remaster did affect this a lot. I think even in the original, you did get hit, but not nearly as uh, frequent. Can you know damage this? Apparently it's been done, I think. Will you do a review of the DLC when Infinite Wealth releases? Because it makes me wonder if the extra jobs will be worth it. Yes, I'll do that. But man, there's going to be so many things to talk about in Infinite Wealth. I feel... God. I, I most likely will have to, like, wait for, for um, what, 10 streams maybe? to like get a good idea of how the game will be like so that I can also be uh, knowledgeable enough to talk about that stuff yeah the extra jobs are pre-order they're not deal well technically they're DLC but you do get them for free if you pre-order pre I'm assuming they're gonna be sold separately if you miss out on them but yeah I was thinking of doing a review in a similar fashion to the one that I did with uh, Daiden? I feel like doing shorter videos every now and then is not too bad. Because I had people saying they're not gonna watch like 4 hours or you know, something like that. And you know, that doesn't stop me from wanting to make a 4 hour video, but... Um, I figure like a 10 to 15 minute video really isn't a bad idea because... Maybe someone just wants a concise look. And yeah, I, I understand. There's no reason for me to talk about my breakfast that I had during uh, the day of the video creation. And then, you know. A hundred and ten bucks is an insane asking price, not gonna lie. It is. It is. That's the new standard in the industry, sadly. I don't know if I would blame RGG as much as I would blame the industry. The DLC stuff is probably from um, Sega side. When is the next podcast? Uh, ideally, I wanted to have that this month, but I don't think that's going to happen.
Sony's been adding New Game Plus to Spider-Man and God of War games, free updates. Alan Wake also did that. And now that you play it out like that, seems there seems to be a pattern. Hmm. Thank you. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. I do want to make more of those. With Giga Chaz, yeah. New Game Plus being separate content is just being a thing now. Yeah. There's one thing I think game companies should uh, follow the example of right now is, um, uh, what's it called? God of War, a whole DLC, a whole expansion for free, and then there's another one that's paid. Like you know, that kind of thing really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's basically sweet talking your audience. Like, hey, I got something nice for you, you know. And then I'm gonna have something that's paid later down the line. So, here's a sample. A, like, a sizable um, sample. And then if you like that, you know, maybe you can support us by buying the other one. I respect that. And when it comes to New Game Plus with 8 in particular, I do understand that from the looks of it so far, they are gonna make that beefy somehow. I don't know how yet, but it's gonna have a separate um, trophy list. So I, I don't really, I can't say much right now. We have like we have to see what happens. Let's just not buy New Game Plus. Yeah, easy. The thing about Infinite Wealth is, again, the base game for $70, you will absolutely get your money's worth. There's no doubt about that. Um, the, the $70 price tag doesn't bother me as much as you know, New Game Plus. And as for the New Game Plus DLC, how much will that add? Well, again, we'll have to wait and see. M maybe it's actually going to add something substantial. Enough for it to be paid. But... That's still something new that they want us to get used to, so... I might be the only person in the world that doesn't care about New Game Plus, but I'm still disgusted by these practices from Infinite World. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Um, between the $70 price tag, and the pattern with New Game Plus with some games, you know, stuff like that. I'm gonna talk about, you know, my thoughts on that stuff. And I guess we'll see if something happens. Like, people should talk about that kind of stuff. I did talk about the whole New Game Plus thing with the, the RPG games in particular as well. Technically, there is more to revisit for Sega, or sorry, for RGG, and edit for the subsequent playthroughs. 
they're not the same New Game Plus that you would have in the uh, uh, the action games where all they have to edit probably in the files is like the damage output and how much damage you take. But then with um, an RPG game, Infinite 12 or 7, they basically have to balance the entire game again. All the enemies, all the possible, like the elemental at attributes and how efficient they are. Stuff like that. And mind you, I'm not saying this justifies everything, but at a first glance, it does seem like there's more work with the RPG games than with the action games when when it comes to New Game Plus. Oh, nice! But I mean, still, like... There's plenty of RPG games that had New Game Plus. Like, in the, in the base game, so... Yeah. I know that the Trails games have New Game Plus. Um, I think all of them have New Game... Yeah, I think all of them do. I don't know about Final Fantasy. Apparently... Well, someone just said Final Fantasy games don't have New Game Plus. I honestly don't play that many RPG games, but... The Trails games are like, what, 10 games at this point? All of them have New Game Plus. Um, and what, what I also love about the Trails games... They give you very specific options. Like, oh, do you want to carry over the money, maybe, but not the levels? Oh, you want to carry over the money and the items, but not the levels? You want to carry the levels, but not the money? You know? Stuff like that. I love that. Options are always good. Also, Shinada fucking slaughters a guy, casually. More brutal than any other protag. And this guy's supposed to be a civilian, by the way. Kasugi best side character in 5. Hey, I said that too. Honestly, I'm surprised Falcom hasn't done anything too scummy. The worst thing they've done with DLC is cut DLC content in western releases. I don't know if you'd call this scummy, but Falcom, like with the later Trails games, they have a shit ton of costumes that are DLC. Like, so, so, so many. Now, granted, the base games do also have stuff you can unlock, but man, I'm talking like nearly maybe $100 or something. Okay, maybe not that much, but you know. Reverie has a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of DLC, I mean, with costumes. And then there's a lot of, like, consumable DLCs as well. And the Yakuza recently introduced consumable DLC, so... You know... We're waiting for a phone call, I think, right? No. Yo, thank you for the seven months, Mevin. Do you think RGG will stick to Dragon Engine after eight or Switch? I don't know, but I hope they stick with Dragon Engine. I love it. Yeah, Yobi. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think for the most part, um, 
Okay, let's 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 picture this. Okay, new game plus is is um, available for Infinite Wealth in the base game. But whatever the hell Big Swell is is DLC, and everything else is DLC. How would you feel about that? God, I can't help but be curious about the Big Swell thing. It could be the greatest side thing ever created, or it could be the most meh side thing ever created. Like... I don't want to put my hopes up, but I kind of am. Uh oh. seems really weird that we're less than two weeks from release and have no idea what Big Swell is. Gaiden unfortunately had the same problem. Um, there was nothing, absolutely nothing about New Game Plus. Like, not even a mention of whether or not that's going to be in. Uh, and now the same thing with, uh, with some of the DLC here. Not just with, uh, sorry, not just with New Game Plus with Gaiden, but also with the dub. Like, they were super vague about it. When they said coming this month, and when, was it December, I think? I fully expected for it to be the end of December. And then, they, like, on the same day... Uh, no, wait. So, when they said coming in December, and then they uh, had a stream about it, I think? They released it, like, what, a day after that? Like, it just dropped out of nowhere. I think some build-up to this stuff would be nice. And talking about details of stuff like that would also be nice. I want to know what costumes are included. Yeah. There's most likely going to be, you know, pictures and stuff on uh, about that in the store page. But knowing that stuff before the release would also be nice. Okay, we have an epic fight coming. I might actually take a small break here. Also. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. The Xbox page has all, all the costumes listed. Wait, really? Hold on. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait, I think I need to log in. Yeah, I might. I might check on this later. Uh, for those who have uh, an account and are willing to log in right now, you can tell us. It's okay. Um, I'll be back still. Yeah.名古屋組というのは極道組織として存在していたのではなくこの土地の時系団的な組織として
すべての目的だったってことか、うん、藤田さんは監督を辞任した後も徹底的にすべての真相を隠し続けた一方で名古屋組という極道組織があるかのように装いその名前を利用し極道者の侵入を阻み続けたんだまるで海外の秘密結社やマフィアのようにねでもまあそれも昨日で終わりでいくら名古屋組が組織化されてても構成員は所詮普通の人たちだこうして真相がバレちまえば彼らはもう何もできないお前を襲った連中はどうなったんだ今朝全員が出頭したよ牛島さんとミルクちゃんという俺が一番世話になった人が全員を説得したみたいでね彼らは彼らで15年間ずっとこうなる日が来るんじゃないかって怯えて暮らしてたのさ辛いなお前にとっては<笑>まあねでもまだ悲しんでられないよ真相の奥に眠る本当の敵をこの目で見るまではねどういうことだ昨日の夜牛島さんたちに拉致された時にはっきり分かった彼らは決して殺しに慣れてる人間じゃない藤田さんの指示で動いていたことは事実だがこの数日間町で起こったような事故を演出できるようには思えないんだ酒井という男が工事現場で事故死したあの件かそれだけじゃない実際俺も名古屋組のことを調べ始めてすぐ危険な目にあったし何日か前の登場会と近江連合の幹部が死んだ事故ってのも当然仕組まれた罠だったんだろう牛島さんたちがいくら名古屋組の構成員だからといって人を殴ることすら躊躇する彼らがそんな大胆な行動ができるとは俺には思えない絶対に本職の連中が背後にいるはずだ謎の組織名古屋組のさらに背後にいる極道組織があるってことかなるほどやはりあの男が関係しているのは間違いなさそうだなあの男なんだあんた藤田さんの背後にいる人間に心当たりでもあるのか俺が名古屋組を追いかけていたのはその男と名古屋のつながりを明らかにするためだだがこれ以上のことは藤田から直接聞くしかないと。ご苦労だった。約束の報酬だ。えもう仕事は終わりだ。俺は東京に戻る。お前はここに残って借金の整理と新しい職探しでもするんだな。ちょ、ちょっと待ってよ、あんた。藤田さんに会うつもりなのかだったら俺も一緒に行くって。俺もあの人にはいろいろ聞かなきゃならないことがあるんだからさ。ここから先は。俺の仕事だ。もう手を引くんだ。達夫。え。達夫って。あんた。俺を覚えているか。え。道島だお前と同じカムロ西港にいた。え道島ってえまさかあのえっとあれどこだ道島君と言ったら一組にいた学年一位の子の名前だった気がするんだけど。えっと、確かに俺は1組だったがそのアルバムには載ってないな,なんで退学になったからな卒業してないんだ大学さあいいんさあいいんさあいいんさあいいさあいいさあいいさあいいさあいいさあいいさあ
それだ当時でも俺は俺はな What if we have to pay $60 to get rid of Kiryu's cancer at the end of Infinite Wealth? I'll pay that in a heartbeat. They're using emotional blackmail. Or, no, would that, no, that's not blackmail. Is it? No, is it? You know, em emotional scam. I'll pay a thousand dollars for that. See? People would do that. So there's too many costumes, apparently. Wait, a Nishiki outfit? Was that in 7? Shinada fan 25! Having the time of his life right now. It wasn't, okay. Man, I wish the Japanese uh, song was not copyright material. It's so good. That worked, okay. They did die go dirty on how they made him lose to Shinara. You know, for all the problems that I have with Five, I do think that Shinara did not beat Daigo here. Because, look. Look, watch, watch. No, 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 no. Not the holding back trope, don't worry. But look at this. See? <laughs> and Daigo just smiles. Shinada may have won the battle, but he did not win the war. As they say in Italy. Who cares about ba power scaling anyway? Yeah, who cares? It changes every game. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh. Don't skip the train cutscene. I'm sorry, chat. If we keep more and more cutscenes, we're gonna be staying here until midnight. And this game already drains the life out of me enough. Oh, does he just call me, I guess? Oh, wait. Never mind. 
Who cares about power scaling when you have cutscene gun? Yeah. Lo uh, look at Shinara though, he's low key a beast. He oh, is. But you know what oh, I no. got out of this game? You know, comparing, ah. comparing Shinara to the others? Shinara. Like, how do I put this? In, in a world of monsters, Shinara barely makes it there with his workout routine. What was it again? T 10 kilometers a day, like running 10 kilometers a day, 10,000, like push ups, what, you know, whatever the fuck he says. He has to do all of that to achieve a fraction of what Kiryu does. Or what Akiyama does, or what Saijima does. Yeah, he's doing the one punch man shit. Oh, by the way, Arai too, right here. Yeah. He just looks a lot like him. Arai the second, yeah. By the way, when you watch this cutscene normally or this conversation normally, I remember pointing this out in my story review. It's actually funny. This guy holds the gun up for like, what, 10, 15 minutes? Try doing that with anything. Like, just grab your phone and point it straight ahead. If you last more than two minutes, um, you're a champion. And you should give yourself a pat on the back. What's my favorite fish? Uh, uh, I don't know about fish, but seafood? Shrimps! Let's go with shrimps. Chat, what about you? Yeah, shrimp nada, yeah, there we go. Love me some barracuda, oh, hell yeah. Who doesn't love a good barracuda every fri Friday night? I love how stupid big this stage is. Yeah, same. Look guys, Shinada's crowd control. Leon answered the phone, it's... <laughs> I'll answer the phone... soon. Just, j just let me beat Yakuza 5 and I'll do that. That has the same energy as, you know those memes? Um, I'll just watch one more video. The video in question. Are you gonna get a double health bar? Not in this place, you know. The video, Yakuza 5, full game, all sub-stories, 100% platinum clear. There we go. Mm. 
The slide? Is the slide good here? I almost missed that. Found an Infinite 12 Collector's Edition that ships to the US from Japan. Are you getting a Collector Edition? I don't know. I'm not sure if I even knew there's one. I might look them up. Maybe. Oh, perfect. Finisher. Uh, wait, not finisher. What? Wait, is this a story thing? Like, what was that? Yeah, sure, send the link over, Pathwalker. My Twitter DMs are open, my Discord DMs are open, my YouTube DMs are open, if there was any. Mm. The PS5 was not even mine, it was my dad's. Um... That's why I don't really keep it. And that's why I don't have Lost Paradise in the list for voting. <laughs> Finally! The last part. Fajita. A legend returns. The fart that stank around the world. That's Shinara's baby. Only children believe in dragons. And don't you forget that. What is the worst Yakuza game in your opinion? <laughs> You're looking at it. Okay, maybe that's harsh. Yo, Rare, thank you for the super chat. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me check the phone. Maybe I got, maybe I got invited to, like, an RGG banquet or something, you know? You never know. Hey, there's nothing here. I got trolled. If we ain't keeping these cutscenes, then can we keep the Katsuya push ups? Maybe. Yaku Survive is my favorite, but I can see how it would be, it would be someone else, someone's least favorite. Thank you. If only people were like you. Um, I. So for me, it's it's like a tie between this and Yakuza, either two or Kiwami two. But, at the same time, you're asking me what's the worst Yakuza game, not what's the worst game in existence. So, this game is still a very good game. And that's the part that people, or some people, might ignore when I say, um, you know, Yakuza 5 is not, like, top tier for me. Yeah, the worst Yakuza game is still like a 7 at the very least. Bare minimum. Thank you, Pathwalker. Thank you.
<laughs> oh my. <laughs> Which one do you have the most fun replaying every time? Yakuza 4 is actually one of those. Yakuza 4, Yakuza 1 original. Um, I think the Dragon Engine games as well. Yakuza 6 is really fun to replay. 6. Uh, Judgment and Lost Judgment are a bit longer than I would like them to be for like playthroughs. Uh, replays. But still. Same, Adam. <laughs> Judgment is worth it for the final fight. It absolutely is. Yeah, I think... I know that Judgment is pretty slow, even on replays, but I'm not sure about Lost Judgment. Yakuza yeah, is a game series where anyone can have any game as their number one, and I wouldn't blame them, except for Kiwami 1. That would be weird. So wait, is OG 1 okay? The worst thing with the Judgment games is that the side stuff are integrated into the main story. Yeah, I definitely do understand that. That, I, you, you know... That's why, when it comes to, to the games that I really enjoy revisiting, I think those tend to be the games without that. So Yakuza 4, uh, Yakuza 1, Yakuza 6, kind of. But, you know... It, it's not to the degree of something like Yakuza 5 or the Yakuza 6. Lost Judgment isn't slow, but the side content is like 80% of the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, the tailing in Judgment. Yeah, that definitely extends the playtime. Oh man. Ugh. Oh wait, we get roped into a Sadachi side story here, right? Oh, that piece of shit, dude. I'm gonna try to ignore it, but we'll see. It has a it has a super fucking big radius, so I might get uh, dragged into it. But I'll do what I can. Yeah, I'm gonna hug the fucking wall. Okay, hopefully we're safe. Look at the big circle I have to take. Okay. I'll be real. As a gamer, I never beat five. Yo, Joshua, hope you're having a nice Saturday too. Welcome. Saijima running away from cops and Sadachi, yeah. <laughs> Lost Paradise most definitely counts. It's an RGG game through and through. About to watch Aizawa definitely not kill a man. And then we're about to watch Saijima beat the shit out of an already beaten man. Epic. Binary Domain also does. It's just very different. Like, there's way less resemblance to an RG RGG game there. Like, yeah, you have the DLC where um, you can play as the Dead Souls cast, but that's about it, I think. And it's only in the online mode as well. Whereas um, Lost Paradise, you have all pretty much all of the a lot of the voice actors are Yakuza voice actors. Um, there's a Kiryu skin, just flat out for the main character. The main character is voiced by Korida. And the combat is Yakuza-like. The exploration is Yakuza-like. There's sub-story- Like, the, the, the framework 
of Lost Paradise is basically a Yakuza game. You can't say the same about Binary Domain. Yo, Mobius. Hope you're doing well, too. Am I seeing all the all the US people pop in now? We've been getting quite a bit of people. I think it is. See, that's the good thing about streaming Yakuza 5. If there's one good thing about it. We're gonna get people from all the time zones. Mm hmm Canada. I... On the robots from 7 slash guide and Tekken from binary domain, are they? Hmm. The Ammon fight in uh, Lost Paradise is one of the worst, in my opinion. Damn. It's pretty difficult, and um, definitely there's more to it. I think I do see where you're coming from. Do you like Yakuza 3? Uh, yes. I would give Yakuza 3 maybe an 8 out of 10. 7.5. I think 8 is good. This fight totally had no reason to happen. Hey, come on. He had to beat, uh... Uh... Never mind. Favorite boss out of all games? I can't pick one. Uh, what the hell did they eat? doing see Saijima what are you doing this guy's fucking dying Saijima be like oh I gotta show him what kill dice are about I think Saijima wishes he had a rubber right now? Absolutely. A head and past. <laughs> Wait, did I skip? Oh no. Katsuya, you're a good actor. Yeah. When was that? I didn't even notice. It just happened. Yeah, no push-ups for us. I'm sorry, chat.
Do we reset? Do we do it? 16 hours stream inbound? Oh, you guys are cruel. God damn. Okay, now listen, listen. We don't have to watch that. Do you know why? There's a more peak cutscene incoming. You know which one I'm talking about. Something about two rooftops. Yes? Let's uh, lose brain cells together. Even Gokudoni went, oh no. <laughs> you know. You know it's epic. When he says that. Be careful if you ever try to do nude push-ups. If it's a carpeted floor, you can get fizz in your dingle on the way down. Man, I appreciate the advice. Thank you. Has anyone in chat ever been to a hot spring? I don't mean the bathtub. I mean a hot spring. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. Not in Japan. I have it. Nope. Nope. Not me. I'm planning on going to one. Yo, nice. Okay. You have to let me know how that's like. Okay, I know exactly where to go. Nice, Chris. <sighs> Why is she not at only level 16 or 17? Uh, he just levels up slower. At least in the uh, fast run or speed run, I guess. So I think we go here now, we get a call, hopefully. Oh no. Any second now. There we go. You know, I feel like this last part really didn't need to be five chapters. Anybody? Like, with Akiyama right now, you just come here, and then you go to that place over there, and then that's it. With Saejima, we went 
uh, with Kiryu at the, at the very beginning. Chapter 1 of the finale. Uh, you go to Serena, you, uh, you fight Baba, that's it. It's stuff like this that kind of make the game feel like it was really dragged. And I feel like, because of stuff like this, using chapter numbers is not a good way of measuring how long the game is. These two are just along for the ride, yeah. Oh yeah, this is where you find out about Majima, right? Like that cursed picture, I think. There it is. What's that? Do they show it close up? I guess not yet. Okay. Is this the Haruka chapter or is that the next one? Guys, you lied to me! Oh. Chat gaslighting me. Classic. <laughs> Oh, look at that. You happy now? どうぞ。え、今回のティーセットのメジャーデビューコンサートは急遽決定したものです。関西のテレビ局で放映されていたプリンセスリーグの決勝で活躍したダイナチェアさん所属のサワムラハルカさんが日本ドームでのメジャーデビューコンサートを予定していたのですがその都合が少なくなってしまったことから急遽決勝で対戦したTセットが代わりにコンサートをする運びとなりましたそれでは本当に緊急なコンサート開催になるとですがTセットの2人
Uh, I'll actually pick Saejima for this one. Yeah, I think the character selections is the one of the best things about this game. If they let Kiryu and Haruka see each other, do you think Haruka will be happy or mad at Kiryu? Maybe both. What are you gonna do after you finish this behemoth of a game? If I still have an ounce of energy, I might cook something to eat. And I'm probably gonna fall asleep right after that. And by fall asleep, I mean... Uh, the dies of cringe animation. But in real life. Do a 10 hour hunting stream? If someone <laughs> fucking sponsor that, sure, I might, but no way in hell I'm doing that normally. Unless. Looking forward to six. Same. How do you use enemies as a weapon with Saijima? When someone is mid air, press circle or the grab button. demo along with guidance or are you not touching that on stream i already streamed the demo of eight like on the on the third day of guidance release how much um the small price of The small price of... Nothing. The small price of nothing, how about that? Deal? Not the spin the other way to use enemies as a weapon? I'm not sure if I get what you mean. Do you mean this? Grabbing them? could just run past them. No, not here. In Yakuza 4, Yakuza 3, 2, and 1, you can in a lot of the fights, but here, not always. Yeah, the Infinite Wealth demo is with uh, Gaiden. You unlock it after beating the, the game. I saw someone using them as a club. I, I, that game is either modded, or they were not using uh, a, uh, a human enemy. There's mannequins. Average visit to Ikea, right here. Anybody? Wait, do you guys say Ikea or Ikea? I think here we say Ikea, I could be wrong. But I could have sworn. Okay, it's Ikea then. Ikea. Hey, who the hell says Ikea?
I've heard Swedish people say IKEA, not IKEA. See? See? English these days. So entitled. IKEA, but I'm French. See? Those people are out there. But no, English is the only language that matters. Shaking my head right now. Link. <laughs> Ikea can confirm in Swedish. I see. So it's, it seems like actually everybody, but in English, they all like everyone says Ikea. Ah, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yo, bam, dad. Yeah, still streaming. Who would not be full of energy with a game like this? Eight hours in. Right, chat? Who's with me? English dub. Oh my god. Don't get me started. Watase! Captain Watase of the Omi family. Watch this. Do you guys think that guy is alive? I think he can just go ahead here, actually, maybe. See? Ogita's moveset, reused in the same game. We were talking about that earlier. Now that's a Richardson moment. I think the same happened to him. Kanai as well, actually. Herculean spirit, please come back. I'm getting my ass kicked. Nice. But he also got reused in three. Feels bad. Ichiban! Oh, did you mean grabbing enemies by the legs on the floor? Okay. Yeah. 
Oh wait, there's another guy. Okay. Oh, fellas. I miss when Yakuza was grounded. Anybody else? I'm sure someone feels the same way as I do. Look at this guy's pose. That was funny. The Saijima have the biggest, largest health pool in this game, without counting zero, of course. Possibly, if you don't count Lost Paradise, then so, yeah. Oh shit, peak incoming. I truly wish I could say what's on my mind. But you see, my plan is far too ambitious to even find the words for it. <laughs> So we're fighting. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's that's the gist of it. We're fighting. Why? Because. They did this very dirty, by the way. Like, what they say. Um, and Katsuya both, like, they don't even get a quick time event, you know? Kanai gets, like, fucking a billion quick time events. They couldn't spare one for Watase or Katsuya. Poor guys. Yeah, what, what do you guys think Katsuya and Saijima are talking about right now? Look at them. Look at them. In the background. You're watching peak Yakuza 5 gameplay. No cheese. Just butter. Yeah, someone must have liked Kanai in the studio, because, wow. He gets special treatment. They're having a test zone Segura moment, yeah. I can see that. They're doing the WWE commentary. Oh, right. Right in the balls. Uh-oh. Damn, I can't counter today. I'm new Leon 7 today. First time I ever see Katsuya's whole rush combo. Same. 
I love how Katsuya is like painfully slow. Okay, here we go. Who do we pick? Who do we pick? Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Wh whoever I see more of first, I'll pick. Come on, we're, we're on borrowed time. Come on. Who? Who? Okay, I think I'm seeing a lot of Kiryu. I think, like, the last couple of times we came here, people wanted Saijima, so this could be a nice change. Truth is, Gokidoni paid me to pick Kiryu. in high school, I used to watch this quick time event on repeat. <laughs> this this cutscene is also epic. Oh shit. Two rooftops? Oh, no way. Oh, the mother of all... Dude, that cutscene... Okay, we're not gonna watch all of it, but I'm gonna show you guys what it reminds me of, because it's literally uh, what this cutscene is. Okay? So... Let me show you guys. Remember this meme? This one, th this is literally what happens in this scene. Oh, I got you suckers where I want you. Bo -bo 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 -bo. And then Daigo comes in. Oh, bo -bo 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 -bo. And then Kanai comes in. Oh, bo -bo 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 -bo. Epic, dude. Epic. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, this beats even Chain of Betrayal. Like, Chain of Betrayal has nothing on this cutscene. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh. No. Cool. Dude. Imagine, someone got the best of Gundaigo, can I? <laughs> they somehow made a bigger chain of betrayal than Fours. Somehow. Don't ask me how. <laughs> oh, 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 there's the man himself. Yeah, you know Kanai was someone's favorite at RGG when he was the only person to outshoot Daigo. Actually, Richardson did that too, I think.
Okay, time for the actual... Oh wait, not no, this is the Haruka bit. After this is the actual, actual ending. Looking forward to a repeat of this with Danny, Daniel, <laughs> him, and Dio. Same. Same. Daigo had no chance at outgunning an American, to be frank. True? <laughs> True. Yeah. Yes. Richardson, the Giga Chad. <laughs> you know, we need we need to assign a name to this, like th this phenomena, the chain of betrayal arc in Yakuza. Do you guys like that name? I I I like that name. I think we should assign that. Um. I don't think one has a case like this ridiculous. Two, four, and five are the chain of betrayal um, uh, arc. <laughs> he just shows up. He just shows up. Bubba Jan. What the Baba doing? Not believing in dragons. Baba preparing to shoot Haruka's brains out, yeah. <laughs> it's still funny to me that Shinada decided to beat the shit out of him, even as he was leaving, and decided not to shoot her. You don't understand, Baba. Baseball. Shinada, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut the fuck up! Fight me, bitch! <clears throat> so far, what's games have been added to the marathon? Uh, Dead Souls, uh, Gaiden, and I'm not making this up. This is not me, this is chat voting. Yakuza Online. I didn't even want to add the game. Someone was like, yo, add Yakuza Online. I'm like, you know what? Okay. And what do I find, like, two minutes later? It's the top pick. No, no, not the Roblox game. The officially endorsed RGG Studio gacha game. How would RGGO work? Yeah. I feel like we should treat it as a comedy relief at this point. We just go in, we take a look at what's cool in there, and then that's it. Isn't that dead? It's still up and running, so I guess not. <laughs> Yo, Goku, yes. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
I'm probably not gonna do, not gonna do the main story. I mean, it's basically a visual novel, and nobody nobody's gonna understand anything. You could say the same so about they, you know Kenzon, if that wins. But uh, at least it has you know gameplay, actual gameplay. Leon, should I play Kiwami 1 or 2 to pass the time for Infinite Wealth? I nominate Kiwami 1. If you had to pick between those two. How do you finish RGG online? There you go. Yakuza Online has, you know, the main story, and then there's um, a recreation of Yakuza 1, and then there's the original Ryuji story, the exclusive Ryuji story, that is canon. And then there's a, like a shit ton of character stories, smaller ones. Pull a Kiryu and call it today. My go-to replay game is 6. Yeah, that, that's a fun one to replay. Are you only playing story, no side missions? Yes. Yes, Yakuza Online does have a pro prototype Yakuza 7 story mode. But again, no one is going to understand anything. So, might as well not do that. That Ryuji story is canon? The one with Ichiban? Yes, it is canon. As um, stupid that sounds, it is. So, Jingoda ripping his top off and being like jacked and fighting Ryuji is canon. Now, you might be thinking, Leon, how do I make sure you're not pulling this out of your ass? Um, so, <clears throat> so, for the iceberg, I talked about Yakuza Online quite a bit. And my main source was a blog by the name of uh, Dojima's Dragon Girl. She played a lot of Yakuza Online, and she, un she speaks Japanese. She translated a lot of the game. That's my source. Um, I'm pretty sure there was some kind of interview of some sorts, where they did state, yes, this story is canon, and it's exclusive to Yakuza Online. So that was used to, like, market the game. I agree. I, I, I agree with that, Happy. It's... It's so stupid, but it's so cool, and I want to see it. But yeah, some of the things that happened in the Ryuji story in Yakuza Online. Kuze and Ichiban team up. They're sent on a mission by the Tojo clan to assassinate Ryuji Goda. Um, I think Kuze refuses to do it or something. Uh, Ichiban ends up shooting Ryuji. Uh, misses a vital spot. So Ryuji en ends up being fine. Uh, and apparently, I think that was deliberate. I, I don't know. By the way, you might be wondering, what, what is Shinara's story in all this? So the story of Ryuji takes place in what, 1999 in Yakuza Online? Um, and then Ichiban's actual game is what, 2018? Which is, no wait, 2019? Which is when he meets um, Junki Han. And yeah, Jun -Han, there's a Junki Han in the Ryuji story. So, there's like three Junki Hans that we know of. The one in 6, the one in 7, and the one in the Ryuji story. 
It has to be a third one because it's like 20 years before 7. And almost 20 years before 6. So. Apparently, Kuze got out of prison by 1999. Dreams fulfilled. Okay, so I'm going to give the beads to someone here for a future playthrough. I'll, I think I'll give them to Akiyama, actually. What happened to Shibasawa? Maybe they mentioned him somewhere, but I don't know. Yeah, happy. That that's the theory that I talked about in the iceberg video. I kind of love that idea. <laughs> yeah, surely this is going to be my last playthrough of this game. You see this? I'm preparing Akiyama for the future playthrough that I'm going to do. Now he has beads of good fortune, and in the next playthrough, Kiryu is going to get another set. I'll move that to Shinara, and then in the next next playthrough, Kiryu is going to get one. And with that, everybody has the beads. Yeah, who knows how many Joongis are there. <laughs> so, not in the next playthrough, in the next next playthrough, this game will finally become playable. I'm joking, Yakuza 5 fans. Please. <laughs> yeah, maybe we are Jungis and we don't know it. Yonsu was a normal guy before he be he became a Jungi. And if you're wondering who the fuck is Yonsu, it's the seven Jungi. Yeah, you're Jungi, he's Jungi, she's Jungi, everybody's Jungi. <laughs> Maybe Ryuji can get that story in a Gaiden game, you never know. Four years later, we made Yakuza 5 playable now, yeah. Yo, Grandmaster, yeah. What can I say? We're playing Yakuza 5. Okay, I might take a small break. Um, you guys enjoy watch watching this um, epic, epic scene.
この男の大門マジマ組の門へ何だと。どうなったんですか、これは。そういうことだったのか。奴らの目的は、キリオさんと西島さんの命だけじゃない。この町から、完全にマジマ組と登場会を追い出すことにあったんだ。マジマ組と登場会を追い出す。きっとやつらはこの騒動をマジマ組の仕業に見せかける腹なんですマジマさんを人質に取ったのもそのためマジマさんを犯人から救おうとした組員たちの暴動に見せかける演出なんですよこれはオッケー You know all the turn based talk Oh why are they waiting For, for these guys, they should be attacking real, real, realism, right? Okay, why do all of these guys wait for all of the protags to have a whole conversation, a lunch break, um, a steak dinner, and a trip to the Himalayas? And then they actually close in and they decide to fight. Riddle me that. Yeah, that has to be the slowest fucking march in, like, the history of walking, ever. <laughs> yeah, Akiyama just punched, can you believe it? Where is the police? You know, not doing their job. Actually, no, let me pick Kiryu. Yeah, judgment invented police. There was no police before that. It's actually crazy to me how judgment was the only game in the whole franchise to implement that system. Like, even Lost Judgment just got rid of it. I think something they could have done is they could have extended the time um, for the police to arrive, but like not take it out completely. I don't know. I thought it was a nice mechanic. What do you guys think? To me, the police timer always felt way too long, I don't know. Right, yeah. You know, the only instance where it didn't feel too long is when he fought a boss-type enemy on the street. And I still remember the goon's name, because it's always the same one. He, he's named uh, Tachibana. It might take a while to actually... Uh, uh, beat him. What happens when the police arrives in judgment? Uh, you stop fighting with the opponent and you both run away. You can get caught or you don't. If you get caught, you might have to uh, you might have to pay a fine. Yeah. Yeah, there's police in judgment. I'm not picking Shinada for this. Yeah, and there's sexy police for some reason. <laughs> I wonder if he can skip this. Let's see. Oh, no. You okay, Shinara? Oh, 
Okay, okay, Chad, listen, listen. Maybe next time we pick Chinara. Okay? Now I hope you all forget this by by the time the stream ends. Here we go. Unskippable <laughs> conversation where no one takes the damage. Any damage. <clears throat> oh, I don't hate baseball, man. But between him and Saijima, I mean, come on. Like, do you want to take five minutes beating one enemy or do you want to take ten seconds? The choice is obvious. <laughs> I think we did pick Shinara here, like in a previous playthrough. Uh, like, was it for the story marathon? It might have, might have been. I was like, okay, I'm not picking Shinara, and then I picked Shinara. But nobody remembers that. We just remember the poopy Devil Leon 7 moments. Fuck this Devil Leon 7 guy. We picked Shinada before and the end section took 2 hours. Yeah, see guys? See? Leon only plays Yakuza for the money. Fucking chill. Wait, no. Would that be a shell even? Sellout, maybe? No here, Keelan's spirit. No, give it back to me. No, no. Oh, Saijima has been demoted to uh, Saijima family good. Okay, back to business. We're now Saijima himself. He stole my knife! Did you see that? We both picked it up at the same time! And the game gave it to him! Shinara! Shinara! I love how this is a game over. It's not even like a damage uh, thing. If you fail, it's a game over. Yeah, no, I, I've been saying that as well. Shinara is really good in one, one versus one, but in a crowd, it's, you know. You know. Okay, boss fight time. Yeah, Shinara's funny. I like Shinara. Funny man. Funny baseball man.
I got it. So, no, no, Oma. Shinada's sidekick, uh, Takasugi. Yeah, I, I love him. I still think he's the best uh, side character in this game. When I did the final boss of Yakuza 5, my game crashed. I had to do... Oh man, <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Welcome. Man, all the US viewers are showing up now. You know what? I'm gonna try to stay late today. Yo, Chunky. Hey guys, welcome. Welcome everybody. Whoa, Majima. Easy with the quick time event spam. How long is six with skips? Not that long. Three hours? Three hours and a half? It's a very nice game. God, I miss when Yakuza was grounded. Anybody else? Fucking Nichibon, dude. And his shitty ass turn based games. Ever since Nagoshi left, things haven't been the same. Ever. This is all Yokoyama's fault. Yeah, riot. So, does this mean Saijima is also... Does he have schizophrenia too? Huh? Answer me that. Oh, you guys can do that too? Okay. Okay, my bad. <laughs> They're gonna backpedal to say it all started when Yoko Yokoyama took the riding helm. Yeah. Is there a reason for why Shinada's beating the shit out of this guy? Baseball! Oh shit! Almost missed that.
I... Okay, this is epic. Watch this. <laughs> Live Shinada reaction right here. <laughs> Best Shinada moment ever. <laughs> Leon, can you remember Kurosawa's motivations? Actually, yes. That's one of the few things that I can still remember. Uh, Kurosawa had to eat shit, so he wants to watch the world burn. I'm not lying. Ask any Yakuza 5 enthusiasts in the chat. Do it! Do it! They will verify it for me. Okay, which final boss in this game has the best theme? Just a bit of a conversation. Come on, let's hear it. Um, I might, uh, I might, I might get people to unfollow, but I'm gonna go and say Kanai. Not, not because I like Kanai, mind you, but I think the theme is awesome. M uh, mutual fist is a close one. Where is he? Yeah, look at Daigo getting his moment to I'm shine. Yeah, all of them are good. All of them are good. Um, I on like if you were to ask me to rank them, I don't think I would be able to. I just think that I like this theme the most. That's it. But all of them are really good. I like them. <clears throat> so please, uh, receive you the what's what's this one? Uh, Majima. Never mind. I honestly do like this fight thematically because even for Akiyama the odds against him here are gigantic um, and like the quick time events against him as well are brutal but that's just me I do like how difficult this fight is. I really do. The others are a little too easy. All of them. With this one, you do have to watch out for Kanai and his knife. Um, usually what I do is I clear the goons first and then, you know, I focus on him. Maybe you want to focus on Kanai first. Go for it. Uh-oh. Why did they give Kanai so much screen time? <laughs> it is a mystery though, isn't it? Like... How? Of all people.
Akiyama needed something to do. Yeah, true. He's the OG massive man. Yo, Mint Man, thank you for the uh, dragon tier. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bit more tricky when there's fewer of them left. Okay, there we go. Never mind. I don't even remember Kanai talking in five. <laughs> Whoa, come on. How many memberships to new vote? 300. Hey. Superpowers, yeah. What won the last vote? Yakuza Online. Yo, Agent, thank you for that dragon tier. Appreciate it, thank you. I think Kanai's balls are feeling right now. <laughs> oh. Sucks to be him. And here's the ultimate. <laughs> This guy's not having a good time. <laughs> he got sick of it, finally. <laughs> He's had enough. No more. I do love this final quick time event though, because you do see how fed up with Akiyama he is. Like he just he just He's done. Oh boy, here we go. What was that sound? What sound? Hey, 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 what is this Aizawa slander I'm seeing? Come on, guys. Show some respect. <laughs> Show some respect, goddammit. People these days. Matemasteu. お前はアイザワどうしてお前がここにそれが自分でもよくわかんないんですよあの<音声><音声><音声> Huh? 
This is one hell of a fight, though, that's for sure. <clears throat> Don't mess with us, Devil Leon 7 fans. We love making the same jokes. So, all Yakuza fans? Don't use the tiger drop? Okay, I'll, I'll use this instead. Hey, they allowed us to use this. Who am I not to use it? Don't blame me. Blame whoever decided for this to be possible. Okay, now we wait for the quick time events. We're good to go. <sighs> oh, you could, you can go that far if you want to. I used to do it at times. Now you just literally wait for the quick time events. They all just happen. All in a row. Can he do the same with Shibasawa Nishiki? I don't think so, because bounding throws take heat. Maybe if you have infinite heat, I don't know. But this game literally breaks like that mechanic. You, it, it, there's no consequence. You can do it as many times as you want. For some reason. Yeah, now for the cinematic experience. Yo, welcome. Yeah, 
yeah, look, can't believe these mod modern games are just cutscenes and quick time events. What am I playing? A Sony game? Uh, sorry, a Naughty Dog game? <laughs> Okay, we do get some gameplay here. Busy heals. What? What was that? <laughs> Dude, okay, that that okay. Listen, one time is a coincidence. What what the hell was that? That was twice. <laughs> Dragon engine is broken. They say. Yeah. What about this? Bluetooth grab, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Do we fail this? Nah. Never seen Kiryu that angry. He has a stab wound. I don't know. Like, after the fight, he really doesn't seem that angry at Aizawa. He's like, okay. You want to fight me again? Just find me someday. GG's! Wait, wait. GG! GG! The most pissed Kiryu, I would say, is Yakuza 0 and Yakuza 6. Yeah, he's more like, okay, yeah, you tried. If you want to do this again, just, you know, we'll do this again. And remember, he's dealing with a stab wound. Of course he's going to look pained. Nice patience. Can I buy that? They're sleeping together. It's okay. Is this the same stab wound from 2? Oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad, my bad. He was not stabbed. He was shot. No, it's not the same stab wound. Uh, Kurosawa shot him on the rooftop. And the wound just reopened during that fight. No, no, Haruka, no, don't do it. No, please. No. <laughs> Okay, 
You know, we never saw what happened to the uh, T-Set. Because after a speech like that, I think they would be fucked, like, career-wise. But we never got to see that, because it's probably inconvenient to show that. Just to be clear, by the way, um... I can't fault her too much, I suppose. She's like, what, 16? It's dumb, yeah, but she's 16. No, skip. Hey, wait, hey, why? Why? Why, why skip? Give me one good reason. Yeah, maybe Haruka hated T-Set. And this, this was her way of getting back at them. She was waiting for the master plan. The ultimate revenge. And this is how she did it. Yeah, playing the long game. It is a Yakuza game after all. Okay, here's here's a question for discussion. If this scene didn't happen, do you think Kiryu would still um do you, do you think Kiryu would be able to live happily ever after? Remember, we're talking about a guy who, even if he were to just mind his own business, the Tojo will come knocking one day. Or someone. In Yakuza 3, it was the Americans. Black Monday. The true answer is, if there's demand for it from the fans, they're gonna continue to milk him. If this scene didn't happen, he would have died alone in the cold. True, true. But that also begs the question, how did she find him? She just had a feeling. Yeah, you know, technically, if this scene didn't happen, we wouldn't have 6, 7, and 8 the way they are. And I'm a big fan of 7. And probably 8. And I like 6 as well. Followed his smell, yeah. <laughs> Stream sniped Kiryu, yeah. Does Haruka know where the Tojo is? Probably, but uh, by the time she finds him, he's mm, like not near the Tojo, I don't think. It's some place we haven't seen before. Yeah, the security's watching this like, yo! This is kind of fire, though. The audience's honest reaction. Blink. <laughs> the fucking audience did <laughs> Just staring into the void. <laughs> oh. Oh shit. Ah. <sighs>
I love that the theories that came out of this, like the the theory that, um, well, you have the hallucination theory that Kiryu just dreamt all of this up, and then you have the the Kiryu actually died here theory, and this was him kind of ascending to the afterlife, which is funny because you know, I don't I, do, do I really need to say it? How are you able to skip the credits? If you beat the game already, I think you just can. Why did Kiryu not call 911? Is he stupid? <laughs> Maybe he dropped his phone uh, during the fight with Aizawa. You know, assuming... Going with the theory that this is a dream... Uh, this is some... Uh, what's the game called? Yume Nikki stuff? I kind of like it, actually. He left the phone in the jacket pocket. Oh my god. That's actually low-key tragic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, wait. If that was the case, he should have gone into the... 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 The, the meeting room and just called what someone. Am I dreaming? Yume. Yume no ka. You know, I do think it's a bit of a brutal move that after this ga this game they made Yakuza Zero a prequel. So for a while, fans didn't really have an idea of what to expect from Kiryu. <laughs> nice, Gokudoni. Okay, that was Yakuza 5, ladies and gents. Um, I'm gonna say this again because I feel like it still goes over someone's head. But I do like this game. I just meme on every single Yakuza game. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch the Yakuza 4 VOD. Go back and watch the Yakuza 3 VOD. Go back and watch the Yakuza 2 VOD. And, of course, the Yakuza 1 VOD, the Yakuza 0 VOD. Um, now, having said that, I do like this game. I do. Um, maybe not my most favorite Yakuza game, but I do like it. Uh, there's a lot of things to like about it um, that I mentioned while playing through this game. One of them is, you know, them allowing you to choose characters. But, like, that was really only a last, like, part thing, but still, I really like that. Um, and yeah, the, the story does have its highlights, but the game unfortunately does drag, and there's a lot of bits you can't skip. Uh, but it is what it is. Still enjoyed it, um, and I enjoyed having you guys here, so thank you guys so much for joining. This, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Is 6 gonna be bundled with Gaiden? Probably not, honestly. So, the way I'm planning to, to do this, I'll go through all of the mainline games, and then after that, we'll go through the games that won. So, even if Gaiden did win after that, then we'll do that after. But we'll play it. So, tomorrow, we might do Yakuza 6 only, but also that way, it's a good thing, because you know how there's like five people in chat asking me, Yo, Leon, keep this scene, keep that scene. We can do that. We can afford to do that. Um, uh, without, you know, having to worry about dragging the stream too long. So, yeah, we're going to play 7 after tomorrow. But tomorrow we'll play 6. And, yeah, hopefully that's also going to be a lot of fun. So, thank you guys so much for joining. This has been a lot of fun. 
you have a wonderful night or a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow hopefully bye bye now take care you guys bye bye